Haim, I've been talking about this all day. You have, Ando. Um, um, it's to do with our band tour, mm. which is sneaking up on us, boys. Monday one, week. <laughs> one half week. I warned you guys this would sneak up, and you laughed at me. <laughs> It's like a Trump. It was like a Trump situation. It was like, oh, this will never happen. (laughs) And I said, hey, you know, we're going on tour soon. Mm. Can we practice soon then? Yeah, we well, we did. We had a jam today. Yeah, but can we go again soon? (laughs) Yeah, it wasn't a prank. I mean, we all sat down with our instruments and had a constructive (laughs) chat. Hey, we need to lock in front people for our band, Cool Boys and the Frontman. We're going on tour in a week and a half. We've locked in the Veronicas for the first gig, which is at uh, the Catholic, uh, Wodonga Catholic College. Yep. We had locked in Guy Sebastian for the final gig. Yep, sold out final gig. It's the only one that's sort of opened the public. Beach Hotel and Byron Bay, everything else was an existing event. You and Jack don't know who I've been talking this to. This is so amazing. You've booked, you've no. talked to a front man. Yeah, I've talked to a front man. Without band consent, yep. you've been doing your own thing. Would you be happy with a front man from a group that has won 12 arias? Jeez, that's pretty that's good. good. Would you be happy, yes. Jack and Haim, with the front person that has been uh, in a group that's been inducted into the ARIA Hall of Fame? Right. Okay. So we're either talking um, Kevin Bloody Wilson <laughs> <laughs> or Would you be Irish happy? group, The Proclaimers. They're still going around. They still play to a million people a year. Right. I reckon I've got a suspicion on what band this person's in from these clues. Okay. Because you wouldn't be giving me these clues unless there was a twist in the tail. And I... Here's, can I ask this? Yeah. Is there a female drummer in this band? Female drummer? Yes. Or more accurately put, does the yellow member of this <laughs> band play drums? <laughs> there might be. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking about the Wiggles. It said... Which one, though? That's the, that's the crazy part. Lockie Wiggle, who's got the best pipes. Yes, he does. Right? But he'll only perform with a catch. And that is if Anthony Wiggle plays bagpipes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a catch, sir, because it stinks of a Anthony setup. Anthony played bagpipes in the Australian Army Band he does. for three years. I've seen, I've he se- I've loves seen him. the bagpipes. I've and seen him on Instagram. And there are Emma, actual- Emma Wiggle does a, like a Scottish or an Irish jig. There are two bagpipes in the actual song. I'm just asking for for one. So gig. you're still playing bagpipes. I'm still playing. Oh, because I thought this was. I thought we had no, our no. own wiggle in here, <laughs> trying to wiggle out of playing the bagpipes. No, I'm not the gigs. I think we just double down on pipes for the Wednesday well, that would gig. Be massive. Yeah. If it's a yes, they're standing by, and we've got lucky. No, we've got lucky and Anthony. They're oh. both standing by. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> lucky, Anthony, <laughs> you're there. Hey boys, yeah. Well, lucky, it's Anthony. Lucky's waiting to have his moment. I'm, I'm going to. Hand it to him and play you guys a lovely little tune on the pipes. I oh, got then, the pipes already to go. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're ready to go. Yeah. This is a song called Crossing the Mint. Dude. Here we go. Well, we've never heard the bagpipes played properly on the show. <laughs> See how he's making, he's making the instrument do the noise yeah, continuously. Have you heard today that I was, in, I was more impressive than I have been? Yeah, but he's been Anthony, he, oh, well done. I mean, it can that's, be, hello, that? that's exactly so the type of piping we need. It's just great to hear that. <laughs> great to hear that a bagpipe can be make a noise continuously and have all the notes go in the right places at the right time. It can be done. Eddie, so gross on the field, man. You're rocking it. Yeah, um, he's, yeah. thank you. He's thank giving you. it a good try, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this well, is huge for Newcastle. You and I will get together yeah. and just do a little bit of side piping just to make sure we're perfectly in sync. Yeah, the hardest thing is tuning them together, but, we, you know, I'm pretty confident we can do that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> giggles, giggles from the Wiggles say otherwise. But, guys, the number one thing about this band is enthusiasm. You've got it. Just oh. a quick one, uh, Anthony. You guys are touring throughout November, December. The Wiggles, they're touring with the, you know, with the Dan Stans, the Wiggles big show, um, all cap cities. Are, are you making a detour now to get to our gig or you're in the vicinity? No, no, yeah, it's a bit of a detour, but it's worth it, mate. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, people can go hey, and get tickets. We could have made there. you take a bigger detour. We are playing some pretty remote Lockie, gigs. Lockie, Lockie's just downloading ACDC right now. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, you can get the details uh, for, at thewiggles.com to purchase tickets at their event. Thank you, guys. What an honour. This will be awesome. It's going to be great, boys. See you then. See you at Soundcheck. <laughs> hey, and we have a band. It's called Cool Boys and the Front Men. And people, we are going over old ground for a few of you. So these are the only information you need to know for this bit. We only ever play one song per gig. Yep. And, and on for the whole tour. Yes. We're going on. And our tour starts in Mon- two weeks. Monday week. Yeah. In the past, um, you have, you're on electronic drums. Mm-hmm. Jack's electric guitar. I'm on trumpet in the past. 
You know, our first ever song was with Rob Thomas. That was cool, wasn't it? Those were the days. So now we're trying to get together another song to that level, which mightn't be great for many years, but it was as good as we could have done. And the thrill for us is if we can sound vaguely musical, yeah. we get all the trimmings of a tour. We yeah. get a tour bus. We get partying. We get to be on the road, drive throughs singing songs, the Veronica's leaving locked. our guitarist behind. We always have a different front. <laughs> <laughs> we just hijinks. You know, tour hijinks. A whole week of it, Ando, on the road. We have a front person locked in for the first gig, the Veronica's. Guy Sebastian is locked in for the final gig at the Beach Hotel. Yeah. The Wiggles, or Anthony, is going to be on um, Bagpipes with me and Lockie from the Wiggles singing at our, on the Wednesday gig. Newcastle, huge. But we need to rehearse to make sure we're yeah. good enough for keep, those people. You keep saying that. We tried to rehearse today. Do we want to okay. do music first or are we going to have a quick tick off a few uh, items of well, uh, urgent business? We should probably get to music at some point because cool. we haven't. One, two, <laughs> no, three. Oh. No, well, I mean, because we haven't practiced what? When's the last time we practiced? I think we practiced once. For this song? Yeah, we haven't got A couple of weeks ago? Yep. We haven't got anywhere near the end. Well, actually, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. The real song fades out. Yeah, right. Do we want to try a live fade out? Because I can yeah, okay. start, I can play loud and then play quieter. We all just get quiet, though. Yeah. Well, well, you don't, you don't have to fade out, though, because I think you'll stop playing bagpipes by then. You're, nah, already, you're nah. already inside a stage. No, no, it's, it, it, there's another bagpipe bit at the end that just repeats Have you not itself. listened to the th- through to the end? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, it loops. I, I come back. There's a lot of bad pipes at the end. A different, with a different thing. Jack and I are there the whole song. Yep. You duck in and out. Yep. Um, but I'm, back, well, I'm on my duck back in phase just yeah. so you know at the end. So I'll be a part of the fade out. Yeah. yeah and no. he doesn't come often on stage. No, I mean, you can stand stage the whole time. <laughs> You're more than welcome to. You're I part of the band. I'm, You're a small part I'm of the band. I'm a guest. <laughs> I'm um, like, unless right, the bus needs warming. Let's start. <laughs> we've got to start practicing like we're going to play. What? Uh, with walk ons? Well, we I think Jack walk-on? should be practicing in roller skates. Yeah, Jack, how's the skates going? Well, I haven't. I, they only just came in today. Yeah, you okay. should practice with one eye closed, too, because you're going to have an eye patch on. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to put the roller skates on, but I'll close one eye. <laughs> All right. I wonder what other bands do to, like, mess up. Should I have my helmet on? Well, I would have thought so because at the moment it feels very, very kind of cumbersome. But we can't wait. Hey, we... Sammy. No, no, don't get someone. Sammy. No. Could you go and get my helmet? <laughs> no. Sam. He can't see you. Wait, it's, it's, a, it's a soundproof booth. It's like, look Sam. He's just, he's just having Did you a... get my helmet? No, he doesn't. He doesn't can't hear you. He doesn't care. We had 10 minutes allocated. Thank you. We can't do five minutes of <laughs> he's a, it. a helmet. He's it. <laughs> I know. He's kidding. Okay. All right. Let's go from the top. Let's go for the, the song. Way. Yeah. What? Just like that? Well, why not? I don't know. <laughs> Are we ready? Well, no. That's my point. I've got one more thing to bring up. Okay. The medal. What do you mean the medal? The team effort. The teamwork medal for me. What? That, because I don't have a flare part in the song. Oh. You guys are all flair. You voted for this song. You pushed... As a team player. And that's what you do as a team no. player. You do team things, well, you're secretly a... knowing later you'll be recognised as you're a getting hero a medal, with a medal. If you're getting a medal for not having a flair bit, yep. I'd like a medal for learning this whole instrument. The medal's the applause if you pull it off. <laughs> well, the, you're going to get the same hey, mate, applause. I'll tell you what, I'll give you okay. a medal if you pull it off flawlessly. Because okay. it's not going to happen. Okay, <laughs> well, what about this then? There's a separate... Applause like they're going to clap the end of our band, right. and then we go now clap Andy on the bagpipes. Oh, wow. Is that all we say? <laughs> well, that's what what about this? What about this? At the end of the I gig, can... I get to wear my medal on stage because I've already earned it for being a team player for letting us do this song. No. I'm allowed to wear my medal on stage. You're... At the end of the gig, I'll have a separate medal for you, and if I like what you've done, I'll present it to you after every gig on stage. Okay, what I'll, about me? I'll, I accept that. Well, Jack, you're the one that got this. This is with your choice. You... I want a medal if everyone gets it. <laughs> <laughs> we have not started what, rehearsal what, yet. What, okay, let's just think what do normal bands do with their medals? <laughs> <laughs> what does Coldplay do with their medals? They who don't who gives medals. them to who? They, look, the whole thing is they no, get Grammys. Okay, I'm going, I'm going no medals for everyone now. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not playing. I'm on strike. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, how's Andy? Mean dad. No medals for the band. Well, A we band didn't even with start no medals. Don't be ridiculous. Re- you can't go on stage with no medals. The rehearsal continues after this song, everybody. <laughs> the whole time arguing <laughs> over self-awarded medals. We'll get to the music. We promise. We'll try after this. We're really going to try. You love this song because you were petrified of Uptown Funk. You didn't yes, want to pull it off. Yes, oh, you're, you're getting so the best of both worlds. Yeah, you, you were petrified and now you're asking That's for That's Uptown yeah. Funk. I was the first to learn it. I got further than anyone else in the whole song. You're, no. You know I got further than you, Lee. You're hoping for a double you're point system here. You're like, because you're, you're not on trumpet anymore. All right, because your grade no. nine training can't come into play now. So for the first time you've had to live my life, mate, which is play an instrument you didn't get trained in. Pick up the metal conversation later. I think he's trying to drown you out, except it's not that loud. It's not and not loud enough to drown me out. But hey guys, have a good jam. Okay, Here we go. It. One, two, three. It's not four. that fast. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> you just start then. Right. You pick the speed, yeah. Einstein. <laughs> Here we go. Go. That's a bit out of this is the man we're meant to follow into battle. <laughs> that's a bit out of it. That's a bit out of it. Oh, 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 what's the medal for that? You can, <laughs> you, can, you can have a medal which is the poo emoticon. <laughs> you, can have a, you can have a giant you can have a metal statue of a shivering mess. No. Um, Jack, A, you need to tune your guitar up. The and breakfast B, show has been playing with the guitar oh, during the morning. Oh, right. and, yeah. and, and, I didn't oh, know. Sorry, then. angels have stolen my drumsticks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pixies, <laughs> pixies have done a poo on my snare drum. You're... All right, Get your act together, Post. Two, two, two minutes. Oh, two, two minutes! minutes. One, one minute. One we minute. just lost our whole crowd. They just walked out. 500 year tens have just walked out of the formal. Oh. Do you have a tuner? Yeah, except I'm trying to tune a bit up. Don't worry about it. What is that noise? Are we warning other ships of a fog? Unbelievable. Mate, in your own time, we weren't busy. I'm amazed you're on the bottom. I I really thought it would be, be between me and Andy today. I think the guy that's practised the most, the biggest Unbelievable. Nerd in the group. I thought it would be between you and me today who was the worst, Andy, yeah. and look who's on the bottom. Yeah, no, mate. Sounds terrible. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your words, Jack. Your G's completely out. Your G's out and your A's flat. <laughs> We're out of time. I'm sorry. We're out of time. <laughs> we are out of time. There'll be no rehearsal time. <laughs> We're out of I'm time. I'm sorry. Fair enough. We're out of time. Right. Quickly play the secret song. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't. Oh, yeah. Jack's got to get that, yeah, I, need, I need three minutes on my own. Oh, mate. I can't. I, well, at least I we sorted said, out I the metal. At least we sorted out the metals. I've more people watching. You can't do more people are watching. Can you play? <laughs> Same as people are watching. We're on the road in ten days. That um. I'm going to need a day to shake this one off. <laughs> now, I know we've only got 10 days to spend here, and maybe sh- <laughs> spending one on shaking it off is extravagant, but I was shocked I at how unprepared Jack was today, Andy. He <laughs> yeah. disappointed me greatly. There'll be no medal for Jack. <laughs> you, you're, not, you're certainly not getting the team players medal. You can't run from rehearsals to this long. I'm not well. running, mate. I'm shaking off how bad he was. I mean, I'd like to I know from off. the I know from the outside yeah, yeah. it looks like I'm delaying rehearsing, <laughs> but I tell you in my heart I'm ready to go and I know that song. But he's forced me to now spend 24 hours shaking off that horrible situation. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Michelle, you drive you home, boy. Are we pumped? About today, Ham. Well, yeah, but we've got a lot of hijinks. Some has been done. Yes. Some is still in store, Ando. <laughs> yeah. um, the uh, Peking Duck Boys are dropping by. Yeah. We are hoping to frame them. Yep. Um, people, regular listeners of the show will know Can't that they've got much. a brand new studio in here. Yep. It has wonderful plasma TV screens. Yep. You broke one last week. I broke week. one last week. We are going to dro- try and make them think they broke it. Yes, we're going to try and frame <laughs> one of the Peking Duck guys. And, until that happens, though, you know, Secret Squirrel. Okay, we're not going to mention it again. We know they're an hour away, but let's safe zone now. Let's not mention it again. But Final safe zone. Everyone, what, everyone knows their roles. What we, <laughs> what we should get to is our band tour ham. Yep. Obviously, we are playing this song, everybody. Long way to the top. Love to say that was us in a week and a half's time. Love to say that was us in rehearsals. <laughs> no, For we... people listening to yesterday's show, our rehearsal 
cut short, went off track. Yep. Uh, when we got together with our band, yep. the guitarist couldn't get his guitar Jackie, in tune. Jackie, I mean, Jack and then absolutely said, left the team. I'll but, need five minutes. <laughs> and we were out of time, and I was just so disappointed yep. with that that I'm needing 24 hours to shake off those bad vibes. <laughs> so you're not practicing today. We still did a photo shoot this morning, though, in full outfit, full stage gear. Here's... Yeah. The more pressing issue for the band. Mm. We'll get the song. Don't yeah. worry about the song. Yeah. We'll we'll get it up to scratch. But we are cool boys in the front, man. We're mm. a band that plays the instrumental to that song. But every gig, mm. we have a new front person to sing ACDC's Long Way to the Top. Now, yep. the tour starts Monday week. Yep. We've got uh, Monday, it's locked down. The Veronica's the front person. Wodonga. The region of Albury, Wodonga is our first gig. We yep. then drive quite some way, right smack bang almost into the centre of New South Wales, yeah. To a place called Rankin Springs. Yep. They have a pub that's been closed for some years. It's reopening. It is a source of much mirth for the townsfolk. Brent joins us on the line from Rankin Springs. Brent, what's the mood like in uh, Rank- Ranko? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's going off. It's, everyone's so excited to yep. uh, have cool boys in the front man there. So. Obviously, you guys don't know the front person yet allocated to that gig. Uh, and we've been giving it deep thought. You don't want to stuff this. We've got a warm crowd that's well, so pumped up because the, thing, the pub's reopened in a small town of so, crowded people. So we're all on track, though, aren't we, Brent, for the reopening? Like, it'll happen on the, that Tuesday night? Well, I hope so, mate. Uh, no, I'll... Going all good, mate, so... Okay, okay. <laughs> okay you just changed yeah, okay. your tune there a little bit. Now, Brent, <laughs> last time we talked, we actually told you we were going to be playing Uptown Funk. Um, so we have changed the song yeah. since we booked the gig <laughs> to long, uh, long Way to the Top, but I assume everything's good with that? Mate, I'm pretty sure the pub attitude are going to enjoy that a lot more. Yeah, I think so. Well, Brent, I mean, we're talking to people that are in rural New South Wales, yeah. Sam. They love it. They love it. Yeah, it's going to be an, it's an outback pub reopening. Yeah. Well, not an outback, but, you know, not, not the inner city. <laughs> um, Brent, I have been pulling some strings. Talk to a friend of mine, Michael Gudinski. Gudinski. <laughs> <laughs> he knows Michael Gudinski. He's in the music industry. He got on the phone and talked to Quincy Jones this over is not, in America. This is not Lots this is of true. strings were pulled, <laughs> and the following... The following man was contacted and has agreed to be our front man. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to the phone, Shannon Knoll. Knollsy, how are you? G'day, guys. How are you going? Yeah, hey. Very good. Very good, Shannon. <laughs> Shannon, you're in to play Rankin Springs. Yep, yep. Ready to go, boys. Ready to go. Now, yeah, Shannon, is. this is kind of close to where you grew up, isn't it? It is, mate. Yeah, yeah, not too far at all. I drive through Rankin Springs plenty of times. Have you had a beer at the pub? Do you know the pub we're talking about? I have, I have, mate, yeah. There's a long while ago now, but yeah. That is <laughs> unreal. Brent, Brent, you probably had a beer with Shannon. Oh, I probably did back in the day. Oh, that's unreal. <laughs> Nolsey, I think this gig is going to be on the back of a semi-trailer. Uh, obviously a heaving yep. crowd at Rankin Springs. Now, You've done a lot of rural touring. Yep. Are country gigs yep. different to city gigs? And if so, in what way? Mate, a lot of times you get out to the bush and, and uh, you know, they don't have the opportunity to see a lot of people. So I right. think... Um, <laughs> They, they get into it a lot more and, yeah. and, and much more responsive, you know, probably a little bit more uh, hydrated as well sometimes. <laughs> and, and you'd are say... They, are they more forgiving? Case. Yeah, you'd say with less to compare, oh, less yeah. less live music to compare you to, uh, there'd be less well, sort of right. technical criticism on the musical <laughs> side of things, which certainly plays into <laughs> yeah, our hands. Exactly. Yes, no, that's for sure. Hey, Brent, are you happy with this? Yeah, this is over the moon. You couldn't, couldn't pick anyone better, though. Right, we thought a local boy is yeah. he's an amazing Australian vocal artist, Ham. He's going to be the lead singer of Cool Boy as a front man, and we've got one of the most Australian hey, songs going around. Shan, mate, your latest single, Who I Am, which is available, uh, we should mention, for streaming and download now, If uh, for those that want to get around our new mm. front man. Um, I know you've got a new album coming out early next year, is that right? Yeah, mate, I have. Have you written, sure. have you written, written all the stuff for it, or do you want, should we like jam a bit and stuff and just see if we want to do some writing for the new album? While, while well, mate, it, it can never hurt, you know what I mean? Oh, you never know what that could, could hurt. Hey, we could, you, we could prove you wrong. <laughs> if you rehearse it, how bad it hurts your feelings, because it's just about criticism <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> uh, but you'll get used nah, to that, Nolsey. Right. <laughs> hey, Nolsey, thank you very much. Congratulations on the new single. It's Who I Am, every Everybody. Brent, we can't wait to see you and the folk of Rankin Springs on the Tuesday night of our tour. Obviously, it's going to be awesome, boys. People who can't get there and listen to the gig through their radio, Sam, between four and six. Absolutely. Or follow it online at hamishandy.com. See you at Soundcheck, Nolsey. We did have our photo shoot for our band today. As yeah. the tour heats up, obviously, you're welcome to join us on the tour anytime between four and six. You'll be with us as we go from Melbourne to Byron, our halfway to the top tour. One gig, one song per gig. One song at a time. Yep. One song per day. Yeah. <clears throat> now, Ando... As part of the photo shoot, mm-hmm. the challenge we each gave each other in the band was we must wear one thing that each of the other bandmates 
um, orders us to wear. Mm. So I had my adult pacifier from you, my dummy. Yep. Jack ordered me to wear a spray tan. Mm. Now, he had done this because in the past I've drummed either with just a jacket on, mm. topless. Yep. Um, sometimes topless covered in animal fat. V- but varying degrees of uh, undress yes. on the top. So Jack went, look, you're a very white guy. Yep. Wear a spray tan. It's the only thing that we've nominated for each other, mind you, that we must wear all the time. I suppose apart from your bus dash. Yeah. I mean, you have to wear the bus driver's mustache all the time. Yep. So last night, <clears throat> I got my spray tan ahead of the uh, ahead of the shoot. They, they come to your house. I do that. They sell a little tent. Yeah, 40 yeah. bucks. Come to your house. All right. And they go, you know, what do you want? Like, rare, medium, well done. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what do you go for? I uh, went medium. Yep. I... Thought if I go well done, yeah. too too much too soon, <laughs> yeah, it is yeah, shock yeah, people. Yeah. It's already shocking. Yeah, yeah. Um, You're loving it though, mate. Here's the thing. Yeah. I know they're not socially acceptable yeah. for guys to get sprayed hands no. all the time. As soon as she sprayed it on me, though, you know what I thought? <gasps> the logies. I get smelt yeah. like the logies yes, immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> went, oh, That's yeah. what that smell is. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately went, oh my god, it's the palladium. It's crown palladium. It's hey, look. I can't lie. Mm. I can't lie. I'm a pale guy. I'm a very very pale guy. Yep. Uh, I'm very, I'm, I slip, slop, slap hard. Even if I didn't, I don't tan. No. I went from my younger years, I burn or nothing. Yep. I'm 50 plus, I'm mm. rash vests, I'm hats. It's a tan, having tan skin is not something that's available to me. If you're a piece of toast, it's two settings, bread or burnt. I'm wonder white There's... or I'm char <laughs> grilled. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get a nice golden brown. Mm. has never happened to me. No. So of course, when I step out of that tent last night and I'm walking around the house in my underpants <laughs> and I catch a look at myself in the bathroom mirror. Or in the lounge room yeah. windows because it was night time and I saw the reflection. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was a, I'm a big caterpillar and now I'm a butterfly. I know yeah. it's only for a few days. You've got a. You've also. Do they spray your whole face? I said, give me everything. Because your beard. Because the beard has. Tan- I should have shaved. <laughs> I should have clipped my beard back. I get that. I know that now. You've got kind of an orangey beard. Well, the thing is, I didn't know all the stuff you had to do because yeah. the lady goes, leave it on for two hours, then have a shower with no soap yep. to wash it off because it's dirty. So I went and had a shower. I'm in our bathroom before we go to bed having a shower. And I'm in there for a little bit going, no soap, no soap, protect the tan. And Zoe's like, what are you doing? Yeah. So, what, what, what do you mean? It's like, the lady's, the lady's told me to have a shower. She's like, D- just quick rinse. You're washing it all off. <laughs> like, oh, no. Because it, it activates overnight. So you don't know really what you're doing. It okay. activates a bit at the time, but yeah. it like powers up overnight or whatever. What is so, it doing? It's just changing, it's just staining your skin, I guess. Just, just... So what happens is as your skin starts drying and flaking, right. your dead skin comes off with, with it. Oh, okay, So right. I've only got it for about five days, but that's why. Then I get into bed and I'm just, I'm still thrilled with myself. Like you, <laughs> it, it's cra- like you've got this like skin tight smug suit on. Yeah. And like you just can't believe it. You just can't believe it. It's just like, it's just like, you, like you've got an Iron Man suit. Like yeah. it's ridiculous. So I was chatting away in bed and I was like, go to sleep. Hey, tan man, shut up. I don't care. <laughs> like, she's like, it's like you've had five coffees. I was just high on this thrill. Yeah. So I go to sleep. And then Zoe goes, but you moisturize, right? I said, no. So I go, it'll come off during the night. So I panicked, got out of bed, had to moisturize my whole body. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And then in the morning, this morning, we were like leaving the house and walking, I was walking up the street to my car and she's like, you put face cream on. No, no. Why you got to tell me this stuff? I don't know what I'm doing. So it's like I'm in the 60s you... and I bought a lion as a pet because, you know, you can do that kind of stuff back then, but I don't know how to look after this thing. I just shouldn't have it. But it's too, it is too much power for one man to have. Tell you what, though, mate, if I can give you any advice, yeah. find a way to pretend you got forced into having one. Because <laughs> it's okay. great. You're no, right. you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> It was a big day for our band today. We had our first photo shoot and we tried on our band outfits, when our playing – are they just photo shoot outfits or they're playing outfits? No, these are our stage <laughs> outfits, mate. Yeah. Nice try. I'm trying to wriggle out because I was certainly disappointed with mine. We heard earlier on the show, Ham, that um, you got a spray tan. Yep. You can't be happier with what you've received. The spray tan you <sighs> just love. Well, I mean, with great the spray tans comes great responsibility. <laughs> I have to look after it. I've got to moisturize it. And – You've been walking around with a lot more swagger all day. Huge, man. It's the – Keith's just – I've never felt this power. But also, I know it will slip away from me. So yeah. I can't get too arrogant while I'm here <laughs> yeah. on my, up in my golden brown tower. This is our band, everybody, where we wanted to have a look on stage. So yeah. we bought an item for ourselves and an item for each other. It yep. turned out that some of the items we bought for each other were a little sillier, I yep. think, because this band is based on the theory that you want as much of the attention and popularity as possible. Well, we, well I thought it would be a nice thing to give us a good look. Mm. Some people use their pick to enhance the other member, yeah. like Jack with his spray tan for me. Yeah. 
you and I probably used our picks to detract from the other members. <laughs> More for evil. But we you quite... gave me a giant dummy and you made Jack wear roller skates. <laughs> I gave Jack an eye patch yeah. and I gave you um, a silly sombrero yes. with a no smoking sign on the top. Anyway, we caught up today at the underpass to have our photo shoot. All right, we've done the band thing, which is to come to an underpass of a freeway with graffiti and posters. So that's a check. Uh, Jack, your roller skates look great. How's your visibility with the eye patch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know you've got pink roller skates on, but you look more daunting. You look taller. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, if we're taking a photo from the waist up, yeah. I'm going to look cool. If it's a full body shot, yeah, full body. the pink the roller, roller skates yeah. uh, look ridiculous. The rest of you is a bit rock and roll. Like, you've got black jeans and a black t shirt. Yep. Hamish has got a. Uh, he's Viking helmet on. Um, he's loving his new tan. I don't know what you're talking about. He came here with your top off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't put my jacket on yet because I wanted to save this for you. See I'll... if you remember this jacket. This is the jacket that makes you look like you've got boobs. This is the but... soft lapel. However, I cut the sleeves off this morning. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to hide in the garage and do it because if Zoe saw me destroying this jacket, she will kill me. <laughs> so now it's a soft yeah. lapeled vest. Yeah, that's cool. Does it make it look like you have boobs? It will. I wonder whether... Like they... when you drum... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We've still got the boobs. Still yes. still <laughs> so now I'm just... I'm tanned with some boobs. Yeah. i tell you what, though, guys. Yeah, the, the tans. You feel so smart. Board shorts was a choice or...? Yeah, because I just sweat so much up on stage, so I need something that's dry, breathable and flexible. And we're playing our last gig in Byron, so I thought I might get in my bodies now. I got my kilt. I wish the... You look, it looks like, it's like, a, you look like you're playing netball. The you look like the Mexican national girls netball team. <laughs> well, you've just had a go at all Scottish people, because I'm wearing a, an official Scottish kilt from Scotland. Is that a thing? I think it's more you big fluffy sneakers. <laughs> I think it's yeah. more the Jerry Seinfeld Reeboks. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's a problem. Um, might not call in, and I feel like you could have got me a heaps cooler sombrero. That's the yeah, some, the somewhere it looks cheap as hell, and you've um, <laughs> laminated a print off of a no smoking. Yeah, can we change? Sign. Can we get a different one? No. And I get the joke. It's like because you want Andy to stop smoking, but I mean, it's not a joke. It's serious. I care about his health. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it looks. It, it's looks, like the sombrero just looks so cheap. Yeah. Well, it is cheap. It's the one you get for free when you drink a one litre margarita <laughs> from Taco Bill. I know. It's the Pancho Villa. Don't you know that the rest of like, you look sweet in the Viking Yeah, mate. Well, I shared out 300 bucks with this hat. <laughs> so. yeah. well, should, can, I, can I upgrade my own sombrero? Nope. All right, so for the photo shoot, um, me up front, obviously, and then... No, I've got... Remember, I've got a very good foreground face, so it should probably be me with the sticks like that so you can sort of see the sticks because they're the heart and soul of the band, so they should be front and centre. Fans voted for me up and, front. And then you... I did not not see that on the forum. <laughs> In fact, looking at the Instagram account, a lot of people... There's a lot of pro-drum comments okay, uh, right. this morning well, on the shoulder Instagram. Shoulder to shoulder is tell, probably fairest. Well, I can tell you this much. There's absolutely no way that you're going to be as much of a millimetre ahead of me. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so feet together, so, feet next to each other. I'm but I'll be, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I might All lean forward a bit. But let Jack, people enjoy the tan. I just think Jack should be out the back though because of the roller skates. But if he's too far in the distance, it's going to look like he's an assassin <laughs> because of his eye patch. He's going to look, he's gonna, it'll look suspicious. Yeah. All right, why don't we ask the cameraman what he thinks? Move it in, in this way a little bit yeah. and let's put you in the front. Don't trigger anything off with Andy up the front because I'll burn <laughs> your hard drive. <laughs> Yeah, the photos are just, up. Um, <laughs> just a normal, normal photo shoot. Yeah. It was all about the art. There's no ego involved. That's the cool thing about today's photo shoot. No ego. Everyone <laughs> yeah. just came to make a great photo. <laughs> we are in a band. The band is called Cool Boys and the Front Man. We are playing Long Way to the Top, Haim, um, as we tour Australia. Yep. Um, with different front people, prominent artists, the Veronicas, Shannon Noel, Guy Sebastian, going to join us along the way. Look, let's be honest. This tour is mostly about the bus ride. Um, that's the reason we all got excited about this tour. Uh, oh, along, I think the music's prominent, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and I'm saying the gigs are great too. But I'm just saying, <laughs> look, the, I mean, the bus has a bar and a keg on the outside and yep. plasmas and PlayStation. And mm. I mean, you'll be driving it, so you won't have the full access to all the joys that Jack and I have on We've the got tour like bus. Plenty of crowds put it out to the people. The you're people cutting the show. me off. You're cutting me off. Yeah. And then, then. <laughs> Not just about the bus, mate. <laughs> it's about the it's about the gigs. Yeah. And the thing you do at the gigs yeah. can't always just be thinking about how much fun you're having on the bus. No. You've got to get to those gigs and you've got to turn up and play your song. We but- ask people to register their parties, their functions. We're going to them. There's a lot of people waiting for us. Huge pressure. Yeah. Um, huge pressure on the band, which is why today we thought, look, we've had some very productive band meetings lately, um, some rehearsals. They have turned into meetings more, yes, more often than not. we don't play enough for it to call a rehearsal. And quite a lot of infighting, you know, should yeah. I wear a team player medal? Should you have one? Like, 
Oh, anyway, a lot of side issues have crept into the band. Today we went, let's, we've got to let's get, get to at some least to music the end. done. We hadn't got to the end yet. Let's at least get to the end. <laughs> First of all, Jack, are you in tune? I've made sure the guitar is in tune. I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay. I won't be the scapegoat again. <laughs> you were not a scapegoat. Uh, you were the goat that made me escape because I hated the way the last <laughs> rehearsal went because of how unprepared you were. Yeah. Andy, you've brought your pipes. Yep. I got my sticks. We need to get to the end of the Let song. Let us play some music. <laughs> 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 we, I feel we must play yes. for yeah. the fact that Shannon Noel yesterday said, could we send through the arrangement and yeah. what key is it in? Yeah. Let's all be honest. Yeah. We looked at each other and went, we've never got to the end. We don't, we don't know what he's asking for. Yeah, no, and we, we certainly know yeah. we can't give it to him yet. So we said no. <laughs> we said no. We said, yeah, no worries. Um, we'll yeah. have it to you by mid next week. Yeah. We need to work out the end. We need to work out the start, and we probably should work a little the bit middle on the middle. It would be great. Love to, I mean, there's about an 80% chunk of the song that's in the middle that we haven't done, and it would be good to know that bit. Should we just try and get to the end? Like, well, let's just pick it up from the end and practice the fade out. Okay. So we're all just playing along at the end, and when I, when I go, oh, I'll just yell out fade, okay. everyone try, try and start playing quieter, okay. and then... Wind that down to a zero. Okay. Okay, okay ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. More. Mine doesn't really fade. It's I feel like you're of... getting there. Yeah, I know. But yours isn't fading. You're just dipping your chin, <laughs> chin closer to the ground like yeah, you're disappearing. I'm hiding. You're trying to hide. <laughs> Visual fade out. <laughs> I, don't I think, think that sounds pretty good. No, I, don't no. like, I don't mind that. Just well, slow yours, to nothing. Yours is essentially nearly what... Like, mine doesn't go any softer. It's like on or me, off. Me, me, me. Can't, yeah. can't, can't. <laughs> Heard this song before. And it's not my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's the plan for the end? Well, we just establish a finish. We just like. Thanks very much for being cool boys in the front, man. Well, I'd well, like you to do that bit. You know, you're talking about flair. Yep. The end of any good song is when we go. I reckon we like go. Dun, 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 and that's... Yeah, yeah, but but definitely do a little pause before the last symbol. So. There we go. Whatever you want. Just request and you'll get it. That's how it works. <laughs> Just hand back in your uh, team participation medal. Exactly. Uh, no, because I earned that when I didn't know about the flair. No. no you, you wanted know. a medal for yeah, not yeah. having any solos, so hand back your medal. No. Unfortunately, yeah, or I can't. you don't get to do it at the end. Guys, I got the team medal. No. no Guys, no. do you know how medals work? You yes. can't go, oh, well... You earned the medal for running the You never got sprint. one, by the way. The team <laughs> never gave you one. You gave yourself one. So you, you can take it off you yourself. You earned the medal for winning the 100-meter sprint. I bet you didn't win at the next Olympics, so now you've got to give it back because no, you didn't win. That's irrelevant. Anyway, no medal for you. Uh, what if I give you guys medals? Yep. Okay, I'd like a medal. Yep. Everyone gets Yeah, them. I got three. Okay, great. We need a singer for rehearsal. Do you anyone else get lost where they are? I don't know where we are. Yeah. Ever. I sort of look for you Full guys. Full disclosure, <laughs> I never know where we are. I love having a singer because they yeah. are a good clue as to where you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It repeats Let's get a so rehearsal often, singer. it's hard to count. Like, how, Let's get a rehearsal how many singer. Done. I don't okay, know where I'll sort out the but... medals. I'll give you guys a medal tomorrow. So that's it. Well, no, if we complete the song, you get a medal. No, Jack was asking, is that That is for rehearsal today? Yeah, because we can't without a singer. Oh, get well. a singer. We've been recording for less than five minutes. <laughs> Feels so many of rages. <laughs> so we we just thought, yeah, I, I'm not calling that no progress. No, we practiced the we we proved that the fade out doesn't work. Proved the fade out doesn't work. Kind of have an idea for the ending. If we play the whole song through to the end, you guys earn completion medals, which and, you'll be able to wear on stage along with my team player medal. And we discovered that we need a singer for rehearsal, rehearsal singer, and so that's you- why on thirteen ten sixty we're asking right now. Are you in an ACDC cover band? Who would ever put, put their hand up for this? Or or do you play an ACDC song, preferably a long way to the top, yep. in your band, cover band? Um, could you please be would, our would singer? You, yeah, would you come in tomorrow yeah. for a bit to, to hang out with us before the show? Yeah, three o'clock-ish. Yeah. And, um, and, and sing yep. so we can get an idea of how to do this song. song. We're using you completely as a training partner. Yeah. We understand that. I know thirteen ten sixty. I know musically it might not be as satisfying as your normal band, yeah. 
but um, you know, could really you, in marriage. Don't they yeah. do like in marriage counselling stuff where they're like, you know what, go and like you know pre- pretend you're dating other people or something yeah, yeah. to make you a better. Just to f- see how good life maybe is in your in your regular. Band. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting at. That's yeah. the analogy yeah. I'm using. So you come and sing with us, and you're like these guys, and yeah. then you might fall back in love with your regular band. Yep. So it yep. could be very good for your band. Yep. Unpaid. A hundred percent. Rebecca, um, you are a part of an ACDC cover band, are you? Or you do ACDC? Well, I do ACDC, yes. We awesome. do a number of covers, covering 70s, 80s and 90s and a bit of today. All oh, right, that sounds like a radio station. Hits. <laughs> um, and with a touch of old school <laughs> R&B on Fridays. <laughs> um, Rebecca, uh, Rebecca um, do you play Long Way to the Top in your band? We certainly do. Great. All right. What's hey, your band's name? We are called The Gap. The Gap. Awesome. Mind the Gap. Yes. Find the Gap uh, and then enjoy them. (laughs) And uh, don't mind them. (laughs) Yeah, don't don't mind them at all. (laughs) Um, Rebecca, would you mind just putting the phone a little bit away from your mouth and then giving us a few bars of Long Way to the Top? Oh, okay. Thank you. I can do that for you. Thanks, Rebecca. You're a legend. Can you hear me? Yeah, gotcha. All righty. Run down the highway. That's good. Yep, she knows the lyric as well. Nothing on the byway. Perfect, Rebecca. Awesome, because, back. Yeah, the thing is, the, the thing really that was good, impressive, back. Rebecca, and well done. Um, yeah. The thing that was impressive was normally at the third line. That's when we start going. Nah, yeah, because nah, nah. I think the line is stopping all the byways, <laughs> yeah. and we don't know if that's a word or not. And so <laughs> I thought it was a supermarket. So, thank you. <laughs> Hold the line thank there, you, Rebecca. Perfect alternative. Yeah. Um, Do you, I, you know what I love so much about this song? We don't talk about this enough. It, it's exactly the song that like describes our tour. Yes, because the whole thing's about just being yeah, in yeah. a band and playing one, you know, one night There's, here, one night there, and just being on the highway. Yeah. That's what I love so much about the song, guys. Well, anyway, I'm there, off topic, but <laughs> there is a lyric that says "one night stands every night." Yeah, and it goes, "That's what it's like playing in a band." Yeah, exactly. And we're like that's us. Yeah, but is your wife fine with that? No, he's saying if you think it's easy having one night stands, yeah. try playing in a rock and roll band. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, that's He's it. not saying you must have one one night stands. <laughs> so it's for people going, yeah, I think it's easy. Going, yeah, well, we do it all the time. <laughs> okay. oh, I suppose I see what you're saying. <laughs> you're saying we're saying you don't have to have one night stands <laughs> okay, though. Okay, just... I know you you tried to schedule the tour <laughs> that way, but I mean, you're allowed to be married and be an ACDC. <laughs> um, Alex, talk us uh, through. You're in a a cover band of sorts. Uh, I was in a cover band a few years ago. We were called the Wizards of Oz. Right. Oh, so and we played um, Aussie rock classics from the seventies and eighties. Great, nice great name. So great name. Great time. That includes ACDC. Of it. Did you do Long Way to the Top? We did. It was one of our uh, one of our numbers on our sets. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Hey, Alex, would you mind us putting the phone a little bit away from your mouth and just give sure. us a few bars? No problems. Mm. and down the highway. Ooh. Playing rock and roll. That's us. Yep. Stop it on the byway. Not a supermarket. <laughs> Going to a show. Come to our show. Oh, he's getting old. Getting old. Getting grey. Getting grey. That's getting us. Getting beat up. Yeah. Getting beat up. Underpaid. <laughs> oh, Underpaid. That's us. We do it for free. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Getting Sorry, Alex. Well done. Well done. Well done beautiful. Yeah, that's, yeah. I don't think you can hear us anymore. I did. <laughs> to the top. Alex, really, really good. good. Really, really good. Really good. Um, we're, we're, Hold there. I mean, I have two really good alternatives there. Alex, I feel, had more of like an opera voice, didn't he? Or like an... He, he was showing off a bit. Like he I, he, oh. he was... Fl- He's a front man. I know, he's throwing a bit of flair. What's I mean, it called when you make your voice wobble, like they do on The Voice? Vibrato. That's the one. Okay. Was But do we want that or do we want to... Beck was pretty good. Yeah. Training wheels more than... Um... And, I mean, she might have a similar voice, I'm not sure, but to Jess and Veronica... Sorry, Jess and Lisa from the Veronicas, who are our first... First, yeah, okay, good, good. Who are our first front people. All right. So Rebecca, she would be training for that first gig. We're going to have to have two rehearsals, so why don't we get them in for one for each? <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> well, why'd you make rehearsal? me pick a favourite? Now I sound like a... <laughs> And then, I mean, you said Alex was showing off, so he might not want to come back in anymore. <laughs> Rebecca, Al, you both got the jobs. We'll organise. Oh, one of the, As I was Rebecca, saying, can, Alex. Rebecca, can you come in tomorrow? I certainly can. Fantastic. Oh, awesome. Yeah, three o'clock tomorrow. And Al, well, you were amazing as well, so we'll get you in for Sometime another one. Sometime next week. Sometime next week. And we only need two more rehearsals before we can nail this thing. Oh, we'll be over-prepared, and yeah. that's one of the biggest dangers, actually, I was worried about with this tour. <laughs> Hamish and Andy, the drive, you're home. And boy, was last night 
a great night, Ham. Wasn't it? And the reason why I'm looking back is because we look forward yeah. to showing everybody the results of the National Sliding Championships. I didn't realise there were so many different techniques out there amongst the people. We were recreating everybody what happens at home. Normally when you're a kid, but we see adults still doing it, where you've got a nice polished floorboard yep. or just a lacquered cork tile at my house. If you turn, if you come around the corner, mm. in, I, I challenge anyone mm. in life yep. to be wearing thick woolly socks, yep. come around the corner, have a carpeted hallway and then an expansive lino yep. or parquetry or floorboards and not run full bore at that thing <laughs> yeah. and slide as far as you can. Yeah. And if you can pick up a high five from someone in the living room on the way through, then good good for you. But we, the thrill of sliding lived on last night. Yes, we had representatives from every state. It was the National Sliding Championships. Which state will reign supreme, Ham? Uh, no territories. And no territories, are, or unfortunately, Tasmania due to legal reasons, which we can't go into. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was only five spots available. <laughs> um, Ham, Layla will be back. But yeah. um, before we get into all of that, you said that you... Had something you want to bring up with me with regards to the band? The band, I mean, people will be well aware by now. Mm. I, I, you can always take the temperature um, of how much we've been talking about the band from when you chat to people sort of in the street about the show. And I'm sure you guys are the same. There's quite a lot of, when are you going on that tour? Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you yeah. guys yeah. seem to have been talking about yeah. it for a long time. Mm. And that's fair I, play. I get it with more. Oh, when are you going on the tour? Very excited still. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, oh, hi, you know, Keith from Rolling Stone here. Yeah, when um, are you going on the tour? Not uh, now, you mate. You wish, mate. We've already given the exclusive to um, Beats and Tunes magazine. <laughs> so there's a lot of that. You're right. There's a lot of media requests. <laughs> there but, is a Beat magazine. You knew that, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Street mag. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, I do, uh, you know, we, we, we are going on tour. Obviously, it's Monday week. We take off on our tour. But our we band's had to, called The Cool Boys in the Front, man. We had to get the music right first. And... We're playing Long Way to the Top by ACDC. A, an easy song on one hand, but an mm. iconic song on the other. So there's a danger there. You get it wrong, people yep. are going to know. Mm. Now, I wanted to talk about an issue in the band. Jack knows what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, because you guys always have side meetings. No, we, we, we have an open dialogue in the band. You can talk to me, you can talk to Jack. Yeah, but it seems like you guys just do a lot of talking. <laughs> well, this issue we knew would be a little touchy for you. It feels like we're going to be grabbing a wild horse by the tail here, and yeah. I feel like she might <laughs> kick out a little. Yeah. So... Just keep your hooves on the ground and listen to what we've got to say, okay? No flinching, no kicking. Jack, you crazy you, brumpy. You normally you're giggling like an idiot over here. <laughs> Jack, you Well, you pressed down pretty heavily on me during that photo shoot the other day and said I was I looked the stupidest in the photo shoot, so I don't mind a bit of sauce going back your way today. <laughs> okay. Okay, all, all I wanna know is often Haim will come and say that you guys have been up to something and you and he doesn't want this and I'm not sure whether you've actually even been told about it. No, this, true. And and this often one, you're, this one you're totally behind? I'm behind a bit, yeah. Haim is spearheading it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic brave move from Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just the shaft of the spear, but let's blame the tip. Yeah. Should the spear hit an innocent victim? <laughs> a shaft can't hurt someone. The shaft's just following the head of the spear. <laughs> let's get off the shaft's back. All right, so you got Tippy over here and yeah, Shafty yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, often too, when I bring up an issue in the band, I'll be trying to create a diversionary fire mm. because I'll be self-conscious that I'm, you know. You're worried about. I'm worried about my drumming. Or, Are you worried about your tan that's faded quite significantly? Oh, look, I, 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 know, orange in part? I know that um, when we did the photo shoot the other day and I had my fake tan, mm. for 48 hours I was the smuggest man in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. absolutely on top of the world. Now I look like a jaundiced baby mm. and it's gone yellow. I look like I've been full body beaten up. Yeah. It looks like a yellowing bruise. Yeah. Not the issue. Mm-hmm. The issue is um, to do with your bag piping. <laughs> um, look... Well, I know we had a rehearsal today and there was improvement. There was improvement. Yeah. Here's, and again, keep your hoofs on the ground. Yeah. Don't kick out, wild brumby. <laughs> Just, this is the question I wanted to ask. And I want to ask the people on 131060, because mm. I, obviously we're on a team mm. and I, it's not necessarily, a, we try not to give each other too much feedback about the music. <laughs> we give each other plenty of criticism. <laughs> When can you say, how far out from the big day, mm. knowing that our first gig is Monday week, mm. how far out from the big ga- day can you say to someone, you're not good enough? Mm. Because you can't say it on the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like as a motivational tactic. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're I've, right. Jack and I, I, I said to Jack yesterday, yeah. this was before today's rehearsal, which yeah. was an improvement. I said to Jack, what do I do here? Because I honestly, I want to sit Andy down and say, your piping's not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose I'd turn back and go, your drumming's not good enough. 
and then sure, we'd be caught sure. in there. You're not good enough to, you know. Sure. And that cycle. would really seem like a tit for tat, a spear for spear. Yeah. But it's that thing of going, because oh, I remember when we had a drama, when we had year, a year 12 drama production, yeah. a week out, the drama teacher said, not good enough to perform. Yep. And we went, that's always Whoa. a year 12 drama move. But like, that's what I want to talk about. Yeah. When you're doing that move to someone you're coaching or yeah. someone you're in a team with, What's the magic time before the big day where you can't say that anymore? Yep. You can't say that to us on the night of the performance. You can't go, you guys aren't good enough. Yes. Because there's no time to get better. I think a week. Yep. So we can say you're not good enough till Monday. Then you'll yep. know that everything next, mu- after, next week is just platitudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I've been platitudes with you two since the get-go. I mean, Impossible. you're both awful. Oh, like, like, <laughs> you like, you're this guy. Look at this horse. <laughs> Kicking. <laughs> just because I've got him by the tail. <laughs> 13, 10, 60, though. Yeah. I want to know this move, the, that move of going, yeah. you're not good enough, to motivate someone. Have you pulled it? Have you pulled yeah, the move? They're the going, you're not good enough. Yeah. When has it worked? Yeah. When has it maybe not worked? Maybe it, was, <laughs> maybe it was too close to the event and it can demoralise people. <laughs> 13, 10, 60 is the number, everybody. <laughs> Nick, you pulled, you pulled this move, Nick, on 13, 10, 60. Yes, I have. Yeah, what, oh, for? Uh, what, what situation? Well, I'm actually a surf life-saving coach and so I – teach them how to do their CPR to get yep. their bronze medallion. And so how do you pull that move? You're not good. So you go, you're not good enough. This person's not coming back to life or? <laughs> yeah. Well, pretty much that's how it is. I'm just saying they're dead. You're, they're not coming back. You're, <sighs> you're doing pretty crap, to be yep. honest. So and does it... about a week and a half out, I say, come on, guys, like pull your fingers out. Yep. Got to get on it. Otherwise, you're not going to pass. You're not going to get your bronze medallion. Literally pull your fingers out too, because you're only meant to check the airways briefly. So if you leave the fingers in there, it's, you'll get you'll yeah. get points you're off for that. Certainly not doing CPR correctly. I don't know where Guys, you thought we had to press. Pop your fingers out, mate. That's, <laughs> you just play with his nose. No, that's good, Nick. See, that's See, again, yeah, it fires yeah. them up, and that's I mean, that's a bit much more serious situation. Than your bad pipes. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe you should motivate with that. Guess what, Andy? If you don't get your bag pipes ready. Yeah, someone's going to die. <laughs> someone's lives will be lost to you. <laughs> Sam, you do this with your cheerleading team. Ahoy, ahoy, guys. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. ahoy Sam. Does it, did the tactic work for you or did it backfire? Uh, it does work for us. So if we have a weak leak in our team and they're always dropping our stunts, we tell them to um, step up their game and um, they're not good enough and it motivates them to hit the stunt, which is good in front of, a few thousand people. Yeah, but how before. far out are you saying mm. to someone? Can't say it on the day. Can you say that? Would you say it the day before? Would you say, guys, you're not good enough the day before? Uh, about the start of the last training session. Yeah, right. And then, Sam, is this the same group each year, though, so they know you're going to do it? <laughs> no, but we compete a few times during the year, but no, it changes. Like, do you have a little. Depending on who it is. Yeah, it's a good move. Do you have a little act like, you know, just you pretend you're in dismay? Because yeah. I remember our drama teacher did that too. Yeah. Like, he had to walk out of the room just like, I can't look at you guys right now. We're like, oh, jeez, <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> do you go that far, Sam, or is it serious enough? Uh, we do have a bad cop, so they just be like, listen here. Yep. Step it up. This is the worst group yeah. of cheer- <laughs> cheering I've seen. Yeah, exactly. It's good. It's powerful stuff. I'm like going to give Andy a call. Uh, Alex. <laughs> You've done this move before. Yeah, or you've had it pulled on you. Yeah, ho- ahoy, boys. Ahoy, Hello, Alex. Andy. Thank you, Alex. Good on you, Alex. <laughs> yeah, neither of you cheer up after the bad news I got that I'm not good enough on the pipes. Hey, it's a motivational yeah, well, tactic. I had this pulled on me when I was probably like six years old. Mm. Um, I was like a very like um, in t- like I danced these a lot of competitions and stuff. And my teacher told me when I was practicing side stage that I just you know I wasn't good enough and I need to step it up before I got on stage. And I got on stage and started crying. Yeah, that's, the, yeah, that's yeah, what so I'm close. worried about with Andy. So close. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I yeah. won't do it to you before you get yeah. on stage because the last thing I need is, is for you me. to damage those bagpipes, which are loners anyway. Yeah. You have to cry on the cry. wood and, and rot the just wood. Probably run off stage after that and get in the bus and drive <laughs> off at all of you. <laughs> and Jack and I will be there at our first gig, which is at a year 10 formal, going, hey, sorry about that, guys. Um, you know, you know, it's like when your friends is something mean. Um, I shouldn't have said that to you. We're going to go on makeup. <laughs> Exciting thing to announce right now. Um, obviously, our band goes on tour. Cool Boys and the Frontman is our band. Regulars would know this. Uh, thank you for being regular, but welcome if you're new. Um, hey, we go on tour. We ask the people of the People Show, what events you got coming up? We're playing school formals. Yep. We're playing university balls. We're playing yep. reopens of pub. There's one final gig at the Beach Hotel in Byron. Guy Sebastian is locked in as the front man. Now, this is a special gig because the gig is our radio show. 4 yep. till 6 p.m. Um, we will be there. Mm. Beach Hotel. 
We had to make tickets. We had to make it an official event yep. for security reasons and all sorts of reasons. So tickets went on sale. Thousand people bought tickets. It sold out. Sold out straight away. Sold out in a, in a couple of hours because obviously you've got Sebastian and you know yeah. it's, it's Byron. So yeah. it's a fun fun thing to do in the afternoon. Hmm. It but, is sold out. But if you're living somewhere, you know, say the high parts of Western Australia, and think, gee, it's going to be hard for me to get there. We've got a ticket in for you. Yep. Across the work day over the next two weeks, listen j- listen out because Jack, Hamish, and I will be getting together to jam songs, just random songs. We bring one each or a few each to the to the group. Yep. <laughs> what we what we've what we've done invented him. What we've done is we we set up. We'll get in for various sessions mm. where. Like, I picked a list. I went through and I found some songs. Yeah, I can do the drum parts to that because I'm on electronic drums. And sometimes I need to give a bit of a clue yeah. uh, just as a, just to help people along a bit. And for all the different songs, sometimes, are you you know, Jack, you're on guitar and you go, oh, okay, yeah. that's an iconic piece of the song. I could guess that. And he tries to play along and other, I try to play along. Other times, maybe a little harder. Yeah. If you can guess it throughout the work day, you go into a final and then... Well, you're exactly the person we want at yeah. our gigs because yeah. you obviously have a sympathetic ear to us. <laughs> uh, and then you can win your way. Uh, flights to Byron Bay, a couple of nights accommodation, come along to the show. We thought we'd throw a few songs at each other today while we had the gear set up. Yep. Um, sometimes it's harder for the other rest of the group to pick up on what you're going for. Well, I mean, this we 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 have to play this forever because <laughs> it was yeah, yep. I mean, it was such a stinker. <laughs> it was it was such a confusing one from you. <laughs> the sad part about this is this isn't my best one. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, pull over if you're listening in your car. Pull over because you're going to need all your skills for this. Okay, it's not tr- normally a trumpet part. Are you warming up or is this it? <laughs> is it, a, is it a footy theme song? <laughs> I sounded a bit I'm like a ringtone. I'm just trying to work it out. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. God, at rehearsal while we all sit here like. Oh, no. <laughs> if someone gets it, give them a million bucks. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me get let me get it. <laughs> We're not stopping you from getting it. Your skills are stopping you. I suppose you can just keep playing notes forever, it's something's a, gonna a, hit. Have you got your sheet music up there? <laughs> <laughs> You're reading. What are you reading? You're not reading music. You're looking at footy scores or well, something. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to do a piano part. It's a bit low for this guy. Biggest, <laughs> biggest uh, song for the trumpet. He's run out. I tell you, there's only there's five no songs. Trumpet. <laughs> what is this dirt? <laughs> <laughs> Why have you brought this into our lives? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. Oh, you're closing in on it. <laughs> it's taken two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> that, why did you play that at the start? <laughs> <laughs> so if you, can, if you were the kind of person that could guess what song I was going for there... Oh, if you hadn't tuned out. You could, <laughs> if you hung in long enough. You will win your way True. to Byron Bay, flights, accommodation, to see our gig. Guy Sebastian is the front man. There's, Guy it, Sebastian also playing. It's actually a little harder. It's a two-stage process. So if you listen across the day, you will win yeah. your way into the final in the afternoon yeah. where we'll have another go live. <laughs> so if you clear those two hurdles, yeah. then that's how uh, that's how you get in. We'll have to get together, guys, and think of some songs. Yeah, we will. That's the tough bit for us. <laughs> now, suddenly, I thought we were a band that only had to play one song, and now suddenly there's just 40 <laughs> songs flying around everywhere, but keep an ear out. One week from today, we'll be on tour. We'll be, I mean, gosh, we'll be probably an hour and a half out Two hours out from our gig. It'd be crazy. Our first gig. Uh, Veronica's is the front man. Exactly one one week from now, this show will be a bundle of pre gig nerves. Yeah. We know what that feeling's like. Mm. Only times two though, because we've only done two gigs <laughs> before. And next week we do four bloody gigs. Yes. Hang, That's a tour. You're, you're on electric. Two's drums. company, three's a crowd, four's a tour. That's what they say. <laughs> Jack's on electric guitar, and I am on bagpipes uh, and trumpet for our secret song. We have a hidden agenda. The hidden agenda. We have a guy on stage behind a partition, mm-hmm. so no one will be able to see him. We're not yeah. even saying his name on air, but he'll be playing yeah. guitar. Mm. And Just to bulk up the song a bit, because we, we realised... We actually practised with him. Uh, that People might not be aware of this. We practised with him. And, um, Jack, he's amazing at guitar. Mm. In fact, he started guessing the guitar solo. He mm. just started playing it out of nowhere, and you actively told him to shush, because... <laughs> 
<laughs> like, do you think it's weird we're taking a guy that's a savant at the guitar, but we're not letting people see him or know who he is, yet our lead guitarist is on roller skates with an eye patch and struggling his way through the song? Like, You can make that-, that argument about any instrument in the band, that there's yeah, somebody better in the world. Yeah, but it. we've got the guy on stage that, that's the best at it. Yeah, like, but he's going to be under a curtain. He's going to be under a sheet, <laughs> yeah. and no one will be able to see him. So some of his greatness... People think it's you. People think it's you. <laughs> that's, that's the frustrating part for us. <laughs> anyway. So the, the number one thing we all crave in this band, which is kudos, you, you see get your freebies. You're going to get some freebies, and that is going to enrage Andy and I, and who knows how that'll play out during the tour week. <laughs> anyway, you can listen. come on the tour, of course, through your radios. Yeah. Uh, four to six, we'll be playing every day. But the final shows at Byron Bay, the famous beach hotel. Guy Sebastian's our front man. You've got a chance to win your way in. All you have to do is try and work out what song we are playing yep. in rehearsal when we just print it out and have a crack at it from the start. The contestants are waiting, are standing by. Yep. Beck's the first contestant. She'll have first crack at it. But have a listen to us, our rehearsal, and see if you'll be able to pick it. Okay, guys. Um, are you ready? Full set up here for our first clue song. The rule is... Yeah. First crack is the clue. Yeah, you can't just keep yeah. going and going until it's like perfect. Until we fit in together. Okay. So, it's after Jack by himself, I think. Does it? Yeah. We, oh, yeah, but let's just all middle? jump into the, okay. the same bit. Yeah. Yeah, let's just, you know what? Just do the bit you feel like doing and see if we all pick the same <laughs> no, bit. No, it's no. a good team building exercise. <laughs> okay. Here we go. They'll get it from that. They'll get it from that. That's great. I mean, I put my own flair That's in. it. That's it. I reckon that's enough. I mean, otherwise it's too easy to win. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> We're about to find out. Beck joins us. How are you, Beck? Hey, good. How are you guys? Ahoy, hoy. Ahoy. Ahoy. You're listening to us in rehearsal there. Beck, yeah. this is huge. Um, whereabouts do you live, Beck? Uh, I'm from Sunbury. In Victoria? Yes, yes. If you win this, you are going to be coming... Flying yeah. to Byron Bay mm. to watch your new favourite band perform cool. live yep. next Friday I, oh, afternoon. Oh, the nerves kicking in, I tell ya. Outside of the gig, you'll be labelled a toolie because it is accidentally <laughs> schoolies week. But inside the gig, you'll be nothing but a groupie. Um, to Andy. <laughs> Beck, could you, could you discern what we were playing? Ooh, I couldn't discern it. I'm sorry. Oh, I, thought was, I thought you were about to get it right. <laughs> It was, it was really tough. Beck, I was doing the whole radio build-up <laughs> to tell you the prize. <laughs> Get your head okay, in the right. Dylan, Dylan, uh, did you know what we were playing? <laughs> um, that was... Oh, <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> was it, uh, it would be Walter Matilda. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, we're so much worse Rochelle, than we think we are. He just turned into the Rochelle. secret sound, and I thought we were playing the song properly. Ray, Rochelle, Rochelle, Rochelle. Ahoy, Rochelle. Oh, uh, Rochelle, where do you live? Uh, Rockingham in Perth. Okay, right, okay. Now, so this is a huge could you, win could you for you. you hear us playing that then? Um, not really. <laughs> okay, we'll play it one more time for you. <laughs> Okay, okay, Michelle. Michelle? Come on, people must know what that song is. I know it, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> you um, know it, but you don't know what it is. Um, who song, I just don't know what the name of it is. Who, who sings it? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. What do we do, Andy? Oh, we go back to Beck. We go back to Beck. We go back to call number <laughs> because one. These We've people have won throughout the days. So we can't go to other people. Ahoy, Beck. again. <laughs> Beck, ahoy, did you want another Hi. listen? <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll just cut it there. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because the drums probably confuse what, people. Beck, what do you think that oh, is? Is it Yellow by Cold? Yes! Yes! Beck, you're coming to Byron Bay! Awesome! <laughs> you're coming to Byron Bay! It's as simple <laughs> as that. I really had to reach into the depths of my music brain then. No, you yeah. didn't, Beck. No, it's you very didn't. obvious. Because we're your favourite band and we're just playing one of your favourite covers. All right. Thank you, you're very <laughs> And you just needed to warm up, Beck. Congratulations. We'll see you next Friday in Byron. Thanks. Bye. 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 Oh, my goodness. Hame, our tour for our band, Cool Boys and the Frontman. It happens. Monday week away. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, Monday next week. Jeez. <laughs> it's got snuck up, hasn't it? Yeah, that, uh, what, are, what have they been telling you this whole time, Ando? Yeah. It's going to sneak up on us, so I'm fine with my part of the song. Oh. 
um, today you feeling were good. telling me there were three symbols into the guitar solo. In fact, there's two symbol crashes. A soft third. <laughs> I don't expect you to hear it, Ando, because you have ignorant non-drummer's ears. And to hear the nuances of ACDC, you must have drummer's ears. But mm. we are not here, despite what you might have thought for the last few months, to fight amongst <laughs> ourselves. We're here to award someone... Mm. A coveted uh, prize, a prize to come and see our pl- us play our last gig of this tour. It's our last show of the year next Friday It'll at be, the Beach yeah. Hotel in Byron. The show, the, the the performance will be between four and six. You'll be able to come and watch the radio show. Guy Sebastian is our front man for our band. Hamish on electronic drums, Jack's on guitar. I'm on bagpipes. We're playing long way to the top. Pipes? And Pipes, um, you've got a chance to be there. We're listening throughout the workday, uh, and then all you have to do is be able to discern what we're trying to play in one of our rehearsals. If you guess correctly, flights, accommodation you to and Byron mate. Bay for, for you, you and a mate. So amazing. people have been listening all day, mm. and they've been guessing correctly. Because we, the way we do this is we sit down in the studio here, and we just have a crack at a song. Yes. Now, there, there's a lot of clues involved, but... Mm. Today we had another crack. This is the one that counts. Um, we've got four people standing by. Are you there, Oliver? Ahoy, gents. Ahoy, Oliver. What oh. was the song that you guessed today? What was the track? Uh, it was Jay-Z's Empire State of Mind. That was uh. b- predominantly drums. Well done. Well guessed, <laughs> Oliver. I, w- I want you at the gig because you've obviously got a sympathetic drum here. <laughs> I, think... uh, I was a drummer in the day. Hey, Oliver, Me was too. it the fact that Hamish often gives verbal clues to what he's drumming? Does that help? Yeah, it definitely helps. <laughs> yes. No, you, you would have got it off. Well, there's no verbal clues for this one, Oliver. You're going to hear us in our rehearsal session today. We pull out a song, we pull out a song, and we have one go at it. Yep. Um, the person who works with us here in production doesn't think anyone will get today. Yeah. Marshy <laughs> flat very, out said, yeah. um, do another one. Do another one. But we, we said, no, <laughs> we think this is bleedingly obvious. <laughs> okay, good luck, Oliver. I think I do lead us in. I think you do start. I do yeah. start, don't I? Okay. I'm not going to play the, the song song. But um, <laughs> we'll just play the actual mean? bit. No, you. I mean, what's well, you'll get the gist. You ready? <laughs> oh, Focus on your bits. Okay, here we go. Easy, 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 easy. That's too. That's too good. That's too good. People will smash that. Too good. All right. Oliver, was it too good? Oh, gents, you need to practice. Pardon? What's that? You ne- I think you need some practice. I have. Oh, I have, don't really know what, I'm, what it's going to be. You have no oh, idea what that, that song so is. Well, for you, so Oliver. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're not coming to the game. No, you don't know good music when. I'm not. I don't. That's, that does not reflect the views of both Hamish and Andy. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm sad you won't be there, Oliver. Uh, Hang on the line, though, because we, usually we people up, don't get yeah. this and we might have to come back to you. <laughs> and Alicia, do you know what that song was? Yes, I do. Is it Taylor Swift Shake It Off? Shake it off! <laughs> Of course, of course it was. It Better was. than Taylor does it too, if I may be so blunt. <laughs> Straight away, Anna, did you get it? Oh my god. Is that really the song? It's That's the song. It. Yes, <laughs> sorry, yeah, yeah, it sounded exactly, exactly <laughs> like it. <laughs> yeah. Anna Alicia. Of course it's the song. Anna Alicia, you, we're about to see you at the moment. I'm at work. I'm next to my best friend's mum and my uh, workmate. Then now we're all helping me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And what, what oh. state are you in? I mean, I'm shock at, and I'm excitement. Today. You're where? I'm in WA, West, West Australia. Australia. Well, you, and Alicia, are, you I've are got, flying to Byron. Yes. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I've never been out of state before. N- this is so exciting. Really, your Thank first you interstate so trip. You literally couldn't go more east. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And Alicia, you and a friend, maybe one of the ones that just helped you win this competition. You will Who be knows? coming to in- enjoy. Fine music, like mm. you just heard, but played in a live <laughs> setting. With Guy Sebastian as our front man. Thank you, and Alicia. We'll play again tomorrow. Everyone is still in the draw, of See course. The Listen out throughout the workday. Gosh, Ham, we are less than a week away from heading away on our band tour. Our band is Cool Boys in the front band. We're about We're to take a- our bus. With front people like the Veronicas, Shannon Knoll, the Wiggles, Guy Sebastian, on our way to the Beach Hotel in Byron Bay. An amazing holiday for the three of us. <laughs> well, no, it's hard work, mate. Yes, as yeah. well as what I was saying was, an amazing holiday you might think, but it's not. <laughs> because it's about delivering top quality entertainment. Rock. And rock and roll yeah. and fulfilling our jobs as musicians and professional musicians in a band on tour. Yeah, there might be a bit of downtime at the bar, so we're hitting the beach. Yeah. Maybe, maybe if we've done a good job, we might sink a crisp beer. But really, it's about the music and making there, sure all our instruments are sharp. There is tuned. a bar, not sharp. 
in in June. Oh yeah, I've been thinking. You know, they're like, but sharp, like oh, like a knife. Yeah, okay, okay, like, yeah, able to cut through the boredom of any gig we turn up to and provide <laughs> cutting entertainment. Hey, um, I feel like this. I've got a surprise for the both of you. And this is good. I feel like yeah, I feel like it's more for you guys than it is for me. But I'm going to be. I'm just as excited about well, it. Well, with you keep that sort of attitude up, Ando, and you might earn a team player medal, much like the medal I've won in the band. You haven't got one. Well, hey, I wear it in the photos. I'd like you to put this. I'd like you to put this blindfold on. And sorry, just before I go yeah. on, and who booked cupcakes to rehearsal the other day? I it was a secret. Yeah, but it was me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> team player. Okay, Hamish putting on the blindfold at the moment. Okay, Ham, I'm I'm passing you something. Uh, do I hold it in my hand? Yeah. Because I'm blindfolded now. Ooh, me likey the noise of a crack of a can. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh. It's, it's facing you now. Yep. I just want you to have a sip and tell me <laughs> what you taste. Well, I know it can't be bad because you would have had to go to so much effort <laughs> if you were to carbonate and can your urine or something like that. Because <laughs> I definitely heard the can open and I don't think you switch can. Hamish is having a gulp. It is a delicious... I know this beer. What are you tasting? Well, it's a delicious beer. Mm. What are you... Just, just tell me what, what, what you're tasting a beer. I'm almost positive I, I've hey, been guess, drinking this beer. Guess what? Can, I, can not, I guess the beer? Not. Yeah, you can guess the beer. I mean, it's so awkward if this uh, yeah, is wrong. I, I can make is it, it a guess. Bolter Brew? Hey, you can untake... Is it an XPA? What? what oh my <laughs> God, I'm drinking this on the weekend. Guess what? You're not only just drinking a beer, you're drinking... The official tour sponsor. You're joking. Of our whole tour. Bolts of beer. They're going to have their logo on our bus. They're You're giving joking. us a 50 litre keg to put inside the bus. Guys, they're, let's they, take the rest of the show they're, off. They're on tap. Get the, get the instruments. Let's they're play on, this. They're on tap at the Beach Hotel. It's a small brewery just outside of Byron Bay. And guess what? One of the owners is Mick Fanning. It's Mick Fanning's beer. And he That's joins us on it. the phone now. You're joking, <laughs> Mick. <laughs> how are you, boys? Mick, this it's is the, unbelievable. It's the kind of beer you make yeah. after punching a shark in the head and you need a crisp one. <laughs> it's, mate, we're drinking this on the weekend. It's a terrific beer. It's the official beer of the tour. <laughs> it's the official beer of the tour. Now, Mick, I understand I've been talking to uh, Sterling, who works at Bolter there, Bolter Beer. I understand this is your first big endorsement. What drew you to yeah. our tour? Uh, you know, obviously. I mean, we know, but you want it. let's hear it from your mouth, Mick. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's our, it's our first big sponsor, which is uh, yeah. pretty amazing. And yeah. uh, I think, um, you know, just listening to how the tour is coming about and how much fun you guys are going to have, we thought, well, what better uh, people to sponsor for the first time? Well, well I hope your beer was put together. I hope your beer was put together better than the way we've put together our band. Ours is a bit slapped. Yeah, I does. hope it wasn't just you guys <laughs> turning up and arguing over can designs and never actually making a beer. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like it doesn't taste like it was. Jack is the keg monkey of our band, so That's he'll true. he'll be the one. I wonder if we could get you a hat or something like a special or a keg monkey outfit, like a special sponsored outfit. <laughs> hey Mick, as a as a pro surfer, obviously, who would your biggest sponsor be? My major sponsor is Rip Curl. Yep. When they go to you, okay, mate, good news. Like we're going to sponsor you. Do, is there like a like a list of things you got to do for them, or is it just? <laughs> I mean, like, is that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. see, that's the thing. We don't have a list. I asked the guys. Perfect. Yeah. There's, there's, well, there's, is this listless sponsorship? Well, it's just put a keg in your in your bus. <laughs> but what do we have to do? <laughs> this is true. That, that's it. Yeah, we'll take it. It's just the beer. <laughs> exactly. And guess what? Mick's going to come to the gig. Mick, are you coming to the Byron gig? Yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully. I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah, and, and, and the guys from Bolt are going to be there. Mate, um, I'll tell you what, yeah. what's your favourite uh, ACDC song that uh, involves how far it might be to the top? <laughs> <laughs> um, long way to the top. Long way, mate. Yeah, long you way. Like, all right. Well, we do take requests yeah, like if, if it's for that. So, all right, mate, we'll play that for you. <laughs> Mick Fanning, thank, thank you very much for joining us, buddy. Thank you very much to the, him and the guys from Bolter Beer. It's going to be on the side of the tour bus, Sam. It's the official beer of the tour, Bolter. Oh, uh, it's going to be a belter. Yeah, exactly. Bolter for a belter. It's a shame I'm going to be zero zero on the bus. Oh, mate, we're going to make you. We're going to make you a big A out of cans. <laughs> A big A? Uh, empty cans. Okay. Like gotta... A for like A plus. Good job, Andy. You've got a keg. No cans. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> well, sorry, we'll cancel the can idea. <laughs> that was a nice thought. The Arias are on tonight, uh, and the 30th time that the Australian Music Awards are on. Mm. And... Not this year. They always do it once a year. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And they've stuck, to the, they've stuck to the same method. It's their 30th year. Um, but 
One of those bands that is up for an aria is the Temper Trap. Joseph joins us from the red carpet now. Joseph, how are you going, Hello. bud? How's it good? How are you? Good, good man. Very, very what's, well. what's the vibe like down there in red carpet town at the arias? Oh, you know, lots of glitz and glam. Um, <laughs> yes. Feeling very tucked into my suit. I, I feel like it's uh, about to burst. But, well, you know. right. everyone wants to know, who are you what wearing? You do? <laughs> no, no, we don't. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, no one cares about particularly the guys. Hey, oh, Joseph, yeah, yeah. You're, you're... Just a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're nominated for an hour, which is Best Adult Alternative Album. It sounds like it's naughty. You well, know? Or, or that children's alternative is now such a big category, <laughs> yes. we've, had to, we've had to split them, and you're in the 18-plus category. Yeah. Well, we've got to win the children's one next year. Yeah. <laughs> Joseph, when it comes to the Arias, um, obviously there's a lot of other bands around. As Temper Trap, do you know a lot of other bands? Because when Hamish Who's and your I, best band friends? Like, when Hamish and I go to the Legs, we don't really know too many yeah, people. It does feel like we're going to someone else's <laughs> school formal. Um, I, I mean, there's definitely faces you, you see here and there, but to be honest with this one, I'm not sure. I haven't seen anyone yet, but like, um, like if you're, hopefully there's some friends. If Temper Trap was a club and, yeah. and like if a law came in, like let's say tonight the Arias, they go, all right, there can only be half as many bands in Australia. You all must merge with another band. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. who, who would Temper Trap be rushing to merge with? Yeah. I guess like in gym class or PE class where they're like, find a partner. Yeah. Who, would, who, would, well, who would you guys like to uh, merge with? For me, it would have to be Tame Impala. Yeah, yeah good choice. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. one. Good yeah. choice. Yeah. They would have a pretty popular tailor. <laughs> People trying to merge with them. So would you guys. Yeah, they're huge in the States at the moment. So, yeah, nice one. <laughs> hey, Joseph, um, your Temper Trap kick off a national tour on Monday. People can get details at thetempertrap.com. But we have on good authority that you've added another gig on that national tour Next yeah, Friday. Yeah, we've pulled some things together. It's yes. a little extra show. Pretty pumped. Uh, are you pretty, guys pretty pumped at who you're supporting? <laughs> oh, wow. I think it's probably going to be one of the highlights of, of the whole career. Well, do, I mean, do you want to announce it? Do you want to announce it? Do you want us to announce it? You want me to announce it? Well, it's up to you. I mean, you Joseph, you we'll announce it if wow. you've forgotten the name of the band. <laughs> well, we're, 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 going to be, we're going to be supporting a, a, little, um, a little act that are, that are starting to get a lot of fame and, and rising up the ladder. Yep, yep. Um, I'm going to call it the Hamish and Andy experience. <laughs> cool. I, I was wondering, I was I, wondering I, when I was you like, remembered the, jo- the Joseph, band name. Joseph's doing the thing that I would be doing when I was like, God, what's their band called again? <laughs> uh, cool Boys and the Front Man cool is uh, and the, the Front Man are going to be supported by Temper Trap, everybody. That's a huge You'll be honor. able to come to that gig live. The, the show and our gig is the same thing. It's going yeah. to be between four and seven at the Byron Bay Beach Hotel. Joseph, you, it's amazing. We're so thrilled that you're going to be supporting us. Oh, it's going to be fun. Name other big acts you might have supported in the past. Mm. Um, well, nothing on this level, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, Rolling Stones, Coldplay. Mm. Did, did you, and when, like, Chris Martin yeah. uh, and the, the guys from Rolling Stones, uh, when they were ringing up going, were you supporters? Did you remember their band name? <laughs> 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 did you, go, no, did you no. call it the Chris <laughs> Martin experience? <laughs> it's, it's, just because I, it's just because I'm nervous. <laughs> how do they treat you? We, we, we don't know how to treat support bands. We've never yeah, had should one. we ignore you? Because our, our instinct is to, um, you know, hang out with you guys and want to have some fun. But it, with that, like, should that, we be more arrogant than that? Yes. Johnny got in trouble for taking a photo with Keith, Keith Richards. Right. From so, their uh, supervisor. So as long as you don't have some sort of photo supervisor... Yeah, that's actually. Um, you know what? Yeah, Andy normally does. Around. Andy does normally have a photo <laughs> supervisor, but I'm going to ask him to leave Cheryl at home just for this gig. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the Temper Trap, everybody. Uh, not only are they kicking off their own national tour, but the biggest date on that national tour is at the Beach Hotel, Byron Bay, supporting Cool Boys and the Front Man next Friday. And a huge coup for people that have tickets already mm. uh, to that show. But uh, there's still ways to win tickets to that gig across the workday. Joey, thanks very have much fun. for joining us. Thank we look forward so to seeing much. you next thanks Friday. Good, Good luck tonight. tonight. Guys, we hit the road next week, mm. and can I just say, excitement levels over here with Blakey, sky high. Yeah. We get on the tour bus on Monday morning, except for this bit, 7 o'clock? Yeah, got to make Mate, that's time. so early. That's we've got to dumb. Good t- that well, is dumb. Make, we've, got, we've got a four-hour drive or so. That's dumb. Well, what, what How is- slow are you driving? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm legally only allowed to go 100 <laughs> kilometres an hour, even if it's 110. Anyway, we get on the tour I've, bus. I've read my bus rules. <laughs> We get on the tour bus, mm. um, you'll sit in the chair, you adjust your chair. It's one of those bouncy chairs that coach drivers yeah. have. You'll bounce up and down for a bit. Um, you'll set your mirrors and all that. Jack and I will settle in to the, we've got this, the most incredible tour bus. I guess we'll select what game we want on the PlayStation because <laughs> we have PlayStation and Xbox. So 
We'll figure that out. Mm. We'll fire up the game and we'll be away. Yeah. We'll be away. We'll know that the, our first gig is until later that night, so we don't even need to be thinking about music. We should music. check in with uh, the Wodonga Catholic College. They, we put it out to the people, of course. We're going to play your gigs. They've got the year 10 form. We should check in with them tomorrow to see if everything's on. And I just... Um, we'll get, maybe get the rider right. Because we, we're so close now, though, to, to getting... Mm getting on stage for the first time, I was yep. just sort of mentally going through the checklist. Like, have we thought of everything? I know we've got merch on the way and there'll yep. be merch available. That's good. We've got our front men and women all organised. Yep. Got the Veronicas, you know, Shannon, Guy, mm. Temper Trap Supporting. The Wiggles. Wiggles are doing going to do a great job in Newcastle. Everything seems good. And I was like, what, what, what's missing? <laughs> Something's missing. Our outfits, our stage outfits are good. Mm. Something, something's missing. And then it occurred to me. Mm. We say we're cool boys yep. and the front man, yet not a single one of us mm. has got a tattoo for the tour. <laughs> We've got tattoos between us. Yeah. All. Jack has the little birds on his back. Exactly. And that's, I mean, I think the Veronicas have the same tattoo, actually, yeah, Jack. We should, <laughs> get a shot. we should get a photo of you, t- you guys <laughs> all showing your sparrows. <laughs> yeah. um, you've got one dot on your back. Yes. Uh, you, looks like a freckle. Yeah, you dotted me one time. Jagged you you with a jagged. tattoo gun. We were in a tattoo parlour and Hamish said, come here, and I had no top on, and he jagged me with a dot on my back. We're doing so. a photo shoot, we should say. It sounds yeah. like we're biking. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a tattoo parlour and you didn't have your top on. What were you I doing? And he, just, <laughs> and he just had a denim vest on and was <laughs> sawing the barrel off a shotgun. <laughs> so they come here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were, we were mucking around. Yeah, we were mucking around. Yeah. And I've also obviously got my sleeve. Yes. I've got a lot of ink yes. on my left arm, um, just from various things we've done on the show. I'm going to get a tat. I've got to get a tat to <laughs> commemorate. I've got to get a tat. Doesn't, doesn't. Well, I've got to get a tat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I got a tattoo to commemorate Frank Stallone coming out, yep. no offence to Frank, but this tour eclipses even that. Yep. Yep, I'd agree with you. I got a sombrero tattooed on my arm because it was for a while was the official hat of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at varying times throughout our yeah. lives, the bar has been low for this arm. Yeah. Here's what I want to happen. Mm. I want to get a tattoo. Mm. I want to get. I want drumsticks crossed like swords. Okay. Like just small drumsticks. Yep. I want to do the tattoo on Friday on the show, mm-hmm. but I want, as a symbol of unity for the band, mm-hmm. I want you to do one drumstick, Anna, and I want you to do one drumstick, Jack. <laughs> what, like, actually operate the Crossed. gun? Yeah, actually operate the tattoo gun. Yeah. I've talked to someone. We can get yeah. a sterilised one in here. Can't be hard. It's like a drawing. Jeez. <laughs> oh, How are you feeling about that? Well, I worry about the drumsticks looking the same as each other because I mean, I'll draw a drumstick one way, Andy will draw it a little bit differently. They won't. I know that, but I you're want... both unique people. I want to guarantee yeah. that you try to draw drumsticks because... <laughs> Because it's a shaft with a bulbous head, and we all know what that could accidentally become. And there's no go agains with the tattoo. Yeah, gun. yeah. I'll I... accept if they look like spoons. I understand they might look like spoons, but yeah. there will be no forgiveness mm. for, de- for, 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 for for a couple of penises on my arm. Okay, I'm just that's fair. That's this is a, this is a trust exercise is... in the band. What's frustrating though is is I'm worried Jack won't do it as neat as I will do it. Would you like to be? Well, here's the other question. One, there's one stick's going to be front stick yeah. and the other stick's going to be behind and you'll have to do the thing where you draw behind. Do you yeah. want to be front stick or back stick? I want, I'd want. i like to be at the front, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, so you do front stick first. Yeah. And then can you handle the pressure, Jack, of drawing back stick? Back stick's actually harder because you've got to join yeah. up two bits yeah. you know, behind an existing object. You don't know but, how to tell. No, no. I, uh, <laughs> but I know I'm, I'm a drawer. Like I, I, I doodle on my sheets all the time. <laughs> All right, well, then you're the man for the job. And you know what? This is a test yeah. because when we get on stage and yep. we play Long Way to the Top, mm. the uh, the classic ACDC song, Jack, you know all eyes are on you. The whole song lives or dies on the guitar solo. Yep. So this is a test to see if you can operate under pressure. Can like you operate it. a machine oh, wait. Under, <laughs> under pressure? So remember, guys, <laughs> let's just make sure they look like drumsticks. Spoken to your wife about Yeah, this? I told her this morning I was thinking of doing it and she just sighed and went, anyway, what time are you getting home from? <laughs> Look, Monday is when the tour begins, but Friday next week is when we're going to be in Byron Bay and playing our final gig of our tour in our band. Our music skills will be so sharp. It'll be a razor sharp gig next Friday. Tickets went on sale, sold out very quickly. We'll, play, we'll, we'll have, by then we will have played the song all the way through. Yep. Three times. Three times. Four Which times, because we've, we've played it through once already. Which is massive for us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that gig, we also announced earlier in the show, the Temper Trap joining us in Byron Bay at the Beach Hotel <laughs> next Friday too. So going to be an amazing gig. No tickets available no. anymore. They sold out the morning we put them on sale. However, Ando, you can win your way, Ham, yeah, to this big gig. 
Cool Boys and the Frontman with Guy Sebastian. Live from Byron Bay's Beach Hotel for the final show of the year. There are ways. There are still a few ways to win your way in across the workday. People have been listening. We have been doing a thing where we simply pick any song and have our best go at it yes, as a band. Our best go. We're not saying we're the best band, no. but we're not saying we're the worst. We're saying we had our best go at it. Yeah, and, and that's all you can rehearsal. ask. Ryan is standing by. Ryan, what song did you uh, correctly guess that we were playing in rehearsal? Ahoy, gents. Ahoy, uh, I believe that was an attempt at Hey Brother by Avicii. Oh, that was uh, a yes, goodie. That was a good one. That, that was, was a real good. We nailed that one. So this uh, this will be easy with you. You've obviously, Ryan, got a... you've drawn barrier one here. Yeah. Now we've got a bunch of other people waiting on hold who have also guessed correctly across the day. Oh, not guessed. It's not a guess. Yeah, we've also just heard correctly. Heard a great song because our music. And... You don't have to guess what song our music is. No. They've just heard great playing, Ryan. You heard great playing. You correctly identified it, but you didn't guess. Now, all we need you to do, again, is to listen to great music. You have drawn barrier one. You're in uh, a great... Yeah, you could be heading to the Beach Hotel y- if you get this right. Where do you live, Roy? Uh, Ashgrove, Brisbane. Brisbane. Yep. Not too uh, far away. Not too far away. All right. Uh, I don't think we have enough to fly you to, so pretty cheap for the company. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, just a cap Ryan, charge. Ryan, this is us in rehearsal. Good luck, buddy. I like this one because it's just got kick drum, so you can't stuff it up. Oh, please enjoy, Andy, perfectly <laughs> nailing this on the trumpet, no mistakes. Ready, Jacko? Please Ready. enjoy. You're going to give us a few kicks in? Tune, how are you and I, Jack? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> well, I was, I'm, I'm blaming, I'm just pointing. That's okay. That's Jack. what the mighty do too on the way down. <laughs> how the mighty are blaming. <laughs> I'm normally at the bottom for these rehearsals, but Jack clearly Jack, was the were, worst. You were timid. You were, timid. You, were, you didn't know where you were. <laughs> you were caught. You were, you were like someone lost in the desert. You walked 1K one way, went, no, that's not the way. You walked another K, you exhausted yourself, and in the end, all we could do was pity you as you died of confusion. <laughs> Ryan, do you know the song? <laughs> Actually, I do not have a clue in the sliders. Oh, Ryan. That said, a little birdie told me that you were looking for a band manager. Oh. <laughs> Still trying to find another way to get on the tour. Uh, Ryan, we don't need a band manager. Ryan, when you've got a band as good as ours, mate, the gigs that book themselves. <laughs> Priscilla. Hi. Did you hear the song? I did. Do you know what song it is? Oh, I, I know the song. I'm just hoping I got the song title correct. Okay, go. What do you it. think it is? Is it? We don't talk anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Priscilla, <laughs> it was so easy, wasn't it, Priscilla? Oh, my it's, God. It's, oh, my God, I'm so excited. It's, okay. it's so easy. I mean, all we're doing is playing a song perfectly. You just name the song. It's not a guess. It's Pris- just well, that's right. Priscilla, it's just comprehension. Where, where about to you? <laughs> I'm from Perth, Western Australia. Awesome. Perth, another well, WA another contestant. W- awesome. Yeah. Which we love They've because... They've got good ears. They've got good ears yeah, in Perth. We, yes. We, we, you know how to listen in Perth. Um, <laughs> it's also <laughs> excellent because it is the, the longest plane ride. Yes. Um, to, see. So, <laughs> to see the shortest gig. It feels, yeah, it, you'll be in the air for something like 500 times longer than the length of the song. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You guys are worth it. That's I think so, good. Priscilla. Let's go on our our support bands are Guy Sebastian and the Temper Trap we just announced today. So you'll be seeing them as well. We'll Catch you there, Priscilla. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Look forward to meeting you. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Michelle, to drive you home. And, you um, can tell. You can tell. I, I wasn't sure if you'd be able to tell because you've got a buff wrapped around your face like a, like they have yeah, on Survivor. Yeah. I've, now I've picked it up. Can you tell I've got it? Uh, yeah, but it's squashing your nose. Yeah, well, I because mean, it's hiding the lower half of your face, and we'll explain why. It's yeah, it's 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 hiding my mustache. Yeah, I know it's hiding your mustache. I know what it's doing, but I mean, you started the show like this, so I think you know, I think people can tell. <laughs> Let's kick it off. Let's kick things off with this, Hannah. Let's okay. clear the air. And uh, you've been growing a wonderful crop on the lower slopes of your face for uh, the last month. Yes, we the. Uh, myself and Jack and those with knowledge of the, your face were unsure as to whether you could grow a mighty crop. Yep. And sure, there have been other people doing Movember that have put you to shame in yep. terms of the power of moustaches they've mm. grown. But, but you produced... Me, didn't leave me as far behind as I thought I was going to be. No, you produced not a trafficable amount, no. but certainly more moustache than <laughs> you could argue would be used for personal consumption. So yeah. quite a fair bit of moustache. Yes. But the reason we wanted you to grow it was because on Monday... 
you become our bus driver, our tour mm. bus driver, mm. as our band heads, drives from Melbourne, snakes its way up the right-hand side of the country, finishing in Byron Bay yep. for next Friday's show. You're our bus driver. Every bus driver needs a silver moustache, mm. a bus stache, yes. right? I mean, it's usually you earn your bus stache by the fact that you're 65 yes. when you're a bus driver. Now, you're a lot younger than that, so we've had to cheat a bus stache on you, which is why you've grown a black moustache until just an hour ago. Yep. And then... Joey Scandizzo from yeah. Joey Scandizzo's Salon. Um, salon to the stars. Last week, Joey was doing Paris Hilton's hair around yeah. the country. And now, how the mighty have fallen. For he is <laughs> no, now no, no. He's being upgrade, condemned upgrade. to your moustache. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's dyed I, it. Yes, he, whenever I dye a moustache, I choose Joey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, in fact, when anyone on the Hamish and Andy show dyes their moustache, they <laughs> choose Joey yes. Scandizzo. <laughs> and uh, you've... Um, You've, if you've had it dyed, I haven't seen it. That's why no, you've no, got it I've, covered. I've, I've, we wanted to do this live on air, and we're Facebook living this right yeah. now. So if people are near um, Facebook, so basically if you're at work, mm. um, you'll be already be on Facebook. So just open up that window, yep. and uh, you can shoot over. Got some anticipation, kind of music, Jacko, um, for the for the reveal, or because it looks like you're a it looks like you're a promotional bandit at the moment because yes. you've got an R and B Fridays <laughs> um, bandana <laughs> on, so it kind of yep. looks like you're a. You're holding me up, but in a funky way. Okay, I'm, uh, I mean, I hope you like How do you feel about it? I feel good about it. I feel Because like you've got to wear this thing to at least I next cer- weekend. I certainly feel like I can drive the bus better. Great. Uh, I feel like I can drive a bus for longer. It's like Rudolph's nose. Um, it's yeah. the guidance system <laughs> yeah. of our bus. Um, and obviously when I get my long socks, uh, that'll obviously mean I'll be able to drive a bus perfectly. But, but once this you, has got me 85% there. Once your calves are compressed and yes. your upper lip's warm, you're ready. I, I feel like I can complain when people merge too quickly in front of me uh, or don't leave enough space when I'm trying to take a left-hand turn in Fantastic. my right lane yep. um, with this moustache. You'll be complaining a lot about unsecured loads. Yes, I will, I will. But um, obviously I want the recognition. Can we go a pull down from the top? Yeah. How do you feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that is that Chortles a great job and this is that looks awesome man it's quite blonde <laughs> yeah yeah we, we had it like it was grey for a while then it just looked dirty we've kind of gone back to blonde we're still playing around with it what would you what would you like it, look it's 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 so funny because <laughs> If I squint my eyes, it's like you don't have a moustache. It's, it's like it's it's the exact colour of your skin yeah, that, almost. That, that's what we had the problem with. When we went to grey, it just looked like I wasn't wearing anything. I didn't have anything. I was too see-through. It was Cause too... Because suddenly... Have was, we not got a m- enough moustache there for grey? Um, I think it's too it's close to It's not bushy, is it? Yeah, close to my, it like, maybe, maybe we go bright white. Yes. I think... Because when we went to grey... Because this looks like, this looks like a Swedish moustache. Yes, I requested, requested grey... Joey definitely gave me grey. Yep. Then we all looked at grey and went, oh, that doesn't really, that doesn't really, it kind of just melted into the back of my face. I think we need, I mean, let's go, I I mean, blonde is so (laughs) (laughs) funny. No, it's blonde, isn't it? It's blonde. Uh, Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I haven't actually seen it in its current state haven't you? because we we panicked. We only finished like yeah, two came minutes in. ago. Yeah, Joey came in. Off. Well, can we, can he just start white now? Um, I'm look. Yeah, yeah, he he's, can. Yeah, yeah, can yeah, we? Yeah, easy. How long will white? He does do this. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. There we go. All right. Jeez, all right. He knows he's white moustache types. Well, why don't we go out and get white going? <laughs> yeah. Then we'll give away a chance to come and see us play in Byron Bay. Straight after this. And, Let's do that. And then after we've given away that, we'll probably get to see how white looks. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I now have a stinging top lip again because for the third time today, we've got a hell of a lot of peroxide on it. We're going for white this time. I know, so. we'll, I know we'll get the right tone yep. here, Anna, because if you're going to drive a bus, mm. you can't have a black moustache. No. What do you think? You're 35. <laughs> exactly. You, if you're going to be a bus driver, you're going to have an old man's white moustache. Channel the old man. And the way to channel him is by looking in my rear vision mirror and going, oh, I am one. Because what if we have like an incident on the road or, you know, someone gets cut off or yeah. something. We have a road rage incident. Yeah. Pictures, you know, we got a, we got a 65-year-old bloke. Yeah. He hops out of his camper van and he's marching back towards the bus ready to just tear us to shreds. Yeah. You hop off yeah. and he sees your big white moustache. Yeah. It It'll be of... like two bucks with huge antlers <laughs> facing each other yeah, off. Yeah. You'll duel with your mustaches a bit <laughs> and you'll each slink back to your vehicles and yeah. that's how you do it. As, or, or alternatively, uh, Lords they, of the Road. Uh, alternatively, he'll just go, oh, he's one of us. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. I thought it was, a, I thought I thought it was, it was someone in their 30s yeah. on a, some sort of band tour, <laughs> but I now see 
you're a touring coach. We are going on tour. We leave on Monday, everybody. We start in Melbourne. That's where we've got to pick our bus up from. We're heading north towards Byron Bay. The final gig on Friday for our band, Cool Boys and the Frontman. It's going to be our frontman's Guy Sebastian. Guy Sebastian's band supporting our band. Yep. Temper Trap are confirmed to be supporting our band. Also supporting our band. You can win your way. The only tickets left because it's sold out is through this show. You can win it next week as well. Uh, and Haim, we'll be doing this. Cool Boys and the Frontman with Guy Sebastian. Live from Byron Bay's Beach Hotel for the final show of the year. All, all across the day, yeah. um, I mean, we've recorded a bunch of these. We sat down in our gig area, rehearsal space. Yeah. We, we must get to rehearsing, by the way. Yeah. We haven't been doing a lot of rehearsing lately. No, let's do one tomorrow. Let's, if we feel like it, let's definitely rehearse tomorrow. I yeah. didn't feel like doing one today, <laughs> but if we feel like it, we'll do one tomorrow. We've been sitting in our rehearsal room, and someone will have an idea for a song and go, okay, does this sound like the song? And we'll sort of draw it out of a hat or have a go at a song. Now, across the day, people have been guessing them all around the country. People are ringing up going, I think I know when that song is. Not guessing because the songs are always played well. Yeah. People so, have just been saying the name of the song they easily Recognising, heard. correct. Recognising the song. Great musicians playing good songs. Leighton, uh, ahoy Leighton, you have drawn barrier one um, for this <laughs> final. Leighton, how are you going, mate? Uh, not too bad, yourself. Leighton. Really good, Leighton. Leighton. People have been, um, you, you know, we've got a whole bunch of people on the line that have won uh, from different parts of the country. You've, you're, in the, you're in the golden spot here, Leighton, because... What? If we play the song and you recognise it, which you will because it's super easy, yeah. um, from our latest rehearsal, yeah. you, you'll, you'll just be going to Bar and Bay. Well, Leighton, where are you calling from? Uh, Freeling, South Australia. Nice yeah, right. one. So that's flights, accommodation, and you and a mate see our gig. It's flights and accommodation for you. Your mate has to make their own way. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, it's for both of you. It's for both of you. Um, Leighton, this is us in rehearsal. Good luck. Not guessing the song. Good luck recognising great musicians playing a good song. Okay, it's from Jack's favourite band, <laughs> so he wants us to play this. Hopefully we do your hero yeah. justice. It's not my favourite band. Mr K. Okay, here we go. You I didn't get that. Is that a clue? You can, His you surname can, starts with a K. You your can hero, the lead singer oh, okay. of the band. You start us off. Okay. Out on this. That's a, I think people will absolutely get that. That's Huge band. Out. Jack's already tried to dial 13 10, 16. He knows it. <laughs> Leighton. Too easy, I'd say, Leighton. Uh, remind me. By who? The, of, the, of, the, of the question? <laughs> now you've got it, buddy. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I didn't know what the name of the song was. Yes. Is it called Remind Me? I think it's Remind Me, how you remind me. We, he knows the he song. Knows, he knows. knows. You got it. You said some of the words from the title <laughs> or the chorus. And that's good enough for us, Leighton. Nick, you're going to Byron. Um, Excellent. Leighton, oh, who, yeah. who are you going to take? Oh, I might have to call up the uh, partner and see if she wants to come along. Yes. And if she doesn't answer first try, you tried your best and then you can... Uh, well, support the court that counts, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you can talk to all your friends. Mate, terrific, mate. We'll see you in Byron next Friday. Fire out. No worries. I look forward to it. Thank you very much. Yeah, Cheers, so mate. You should look forward to it because it's a big, great gig. <laughs> hey, I do have the buff back over my face. Mm -hmm. I sound a little strange because... Your bandana's on. I've had the last 20 minutes um, re-dyeing the moustache. You guys thought the first one was too Swedish, too... Uh, it was very blonde. Very blonde? It was, an, it was a straw-coloured blonde, yeah. which is... I know you guys were trying to... Because grey didn't work. Grey just looked like... I mean, uh, he, Joey got me grey. Don't get me wrong, but... It Joey hasn't missed. Yeah. You tell Joey a colour, he'll hit the colour. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried. This is not, a, this is not yeah. a question about whether Joey Scandizzo can dye hair. <laughs> the man created Paris Hilton's whole head last week. <laughs> yeah, okay. Exactly. So he knows what he's doing. He's yeah. at the top of his game. Mm. You've provided him with a terrible canvas yes. to work on. yes. It's not the thinnest of moustaches no. that you'd certainly be making 14-year-old boys, um, you know, working behind the counter at Hungry Jack's jealous, jealous of your moustache, yeah. but it's certainly not the bushiest of stashes that he's ever had to dye. And just for my skin tones, the grey uh, was letting it disappear. Well, it looked like you were trying to make it invisible. It looked like you yeah. didn't want to have a wax, but okay. you also didn't want people noticing your moustache. We've gone for bright white. Mm -hmm. um, I'm ready to go. That's the sound effect we are looking for about 10 seconds ago, Jack. <laughs> you can uh, catch this on our Instagram. Yeah. What do you think? Yes, 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 are yes. This is there? on Instagram yeah, yeah. Live right now. Yes. This is good. I, I now feel like 
I can drive a bus. That is good. Yes. I I've love that. Us, I caught myself in the reflection. I love uh, that. I'm giving Joey the thumbs I up. I love it, Joey. And I'll be I giving forever. any forever. other passing bu- buses just one finger off the wheel as a salute as I go past them and we head north. This is such a good moustache, Ando. Well, I'm glad we got this settled because I've got a few questions about the tattoo that you want Jack and I to give us. Yep. Give We're you. getting ready, aren't we? <laughs> getting everything, getting... This is... Um, no this rehearsing, is but boy, have we sorted out a I, few I things. bet this is the same as like Metallica or something, two yeah. days out from one of their big tours. Like, yeah. you know, have everyone got their pre-tour tattoos? <laughs> everyone got any novelty moustaches dyed? <laughs> well... We have got a tour, guys, and there's final things we need to tick off. Obviously, we are going to play in our band, Cool Boys and the Frontman. You're on electric drums. Hmm. Jack's on electric guitar. I'm on bagpipes. Your moustache is ready? Yes, Because you're a bus driver. Yes. If you've just tuned in, Andy has finished dyeing his moustache hmm. white. Yes. It's perfect. <laughs> you are now, you've now got a perfect bus driver's moustache. Yes. You've yes. mustered more hair than I thought you would. Hmm. It's a beautiful white. It, um, I mean, if I just look at your lips and your, and your moustache, mm. feel like I'm looking at a 68-year-old man called Stan <laughs> yeah. who's told me we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yes. exactly what I want from you. <laughs> After me um, persistently asking how far do you reckon it'll be till we can stop for food, Stan? I feel like, yeah, I feel it certainly gives me more authority when you two clowns ask the stuff. Well, don't get carried it. away. Don't get carried <laughs> away. It's not a magic stop, moustache. Stop for we'll it. certainly do what we want, when we want, <laughs> how we want, because we're the cool boys yeah. and you're the bus man. No, I am, I am <laughs> also a cool boy. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know. Um, anyway... Uh, Haim, you brought up yesterday on the show that you wanted to get a tat yep. for, for as because I had been on your back that you'd done nothing for the band. So there was, um, unfortunately, my plans on getting a gun license because mm. you got your bus license. So I was trying to get a also a useful license. Yeah. I just didn't think I needed a gun license for the band. Yes. Um, but it would have been a wonderful I, gesture. I think I brought that up at the time. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> and also the information session was ages. Like, yeah. Too, too, too much. So... Here's, I think I feel like we glossed over things a bit, Jack. Would you agree that Haim's like, hey, do you want to tattoo me? And we went, yeah, that's fun. That we'll, sounds we'll, like we'll, we can just look it up on YouTube and we'll, we'll be back did. on Friday. <laughs> Jack did. I came into the office and I caught him looking up the basics of how to tattoo someone. You caught? Why, why am I getting in trouble We're for that? We're not caught. It's going on your skin. <laughs> but I was like... Oh, but, Permanently on your skin. But it didn't, look like he was, it didn't look like he was looking at the best video. It was pretty slapdash. The one you looked at was pretty slapdash because it was just like, yeah, you know, make sure you got this. Well, and, well, so far, and the machine had rubber bands all over it. Like, is that a proper tattoo gun? I think that's. I think I've seen in the movies that... I mean, yeah, I've, I've, like, I've had a few tats done and they do sometimes have rubber bands on them, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, anyway. it just seemed a bit jerry rigged. So, you want two drumsticks? I want two drumsticks, mm. not the ice creams, although they are very good friends <laughs> of ours, but more like the long oak sticks that yes. you can use to bang drums. Yeah. So, here's my I want them crossed over. You said you were going to do front stick, and yeah. Jack will do back stick, which is a bit harder because it's drawn and joined up. Okay, first question Who's drawing the sticks? Each of you draw your own stick. <laughs> All right. So that's this yeah. is a trust exercise. This is how so, you earn the team player medal in the sure, band. Sure, but say if I draw draw a style of stick, drumstick. Yeah. <laughs> what style? <laughs> what a brush, a jazz brush. <laughs> Just draw a drumstick. Yeah, I know, but like this, like a pen, but with a little knob on the end. <laughs> I know, but if I draw my stick, does Jack match mine or am I, I guess matching? So. Well, I just want to no, know. I mean, well, that's what team play. This is what team playing is all about. We all strive together to get the best outcome. Yeah. In um, the videos I watched today, they uh, put a little sketch down on somebody's arm yeah. in ink. They first. used baking paper or something. Yeah, and then traced over the ink drawing um, the tattoo. Do you want us to do that, or do you want us to just go freehand <laughs> no. straight on the skin? Freehand's pretty cool. Do you think you're good enough to do freehand? No. <laughs> that's my whole. That's why I think we're glossing off. Do you know what? I think you are. <laughs> wow. Do you know what? I saw an ad today, Free and this head. is not cash for comment. This is just an ad that's stuck in my head, yeah. right? I think it's for Commonwealth Bank because the whole okay. thing is, you know, if you believe it, you can. Mm. And there's a picture of a kid, mm. just a kid, like a 10-year-old kid, on the International Space Station. And the slogan was, if you believe it, you can. I was like, wow, mm. that kid believed he could be an astronaut. Yeah. And now he's on the International Space Station. Yeah. I think the same thing for you guys. If yeah. you believe you can tattoo, you can. Do you believe? No. 
<laughs> no, I don't because I've never done it. What about the astronaut story? That was pretty inspiring. <laughs> yeah, no, but that was an advert. Like that kid. Didn't I don't actually... think it's a true story. No, yeah. I actually think it's the wrong message to send kids because you do, definitely do need training to be on the space station. Okay, here's so, what I think: so you... believe in yourselves, though. It's a trust exercise. You're a pretty good drawer, Jack. You're a very good drawer. Thank you, but I have no so no idea. stencil, freehand. How hard can I... it be? It's like a very thin sausage. Well, yeah. it's like literally the easiest thing in the world to draw. It's two lines yes. parallel, yeah. join them up at the ends. You can draw that. I, can't, I know, okay, but I, I'm just, I want them to. How bad them... at drawing are you if you can't draw a drumstick? <laughs> well, I just, well, you know, we saw <laughs> people draw it. You, you had a bit of a, a play around with it, and they didn't look anything like drumsticks. Sometimes they look like sausages, sometimes <laughs> they look like wooden spoons. But <laughs> one looked like. Something really naughty. Sometimes they look like D's and B's without the B's. <laughs> yeah. But could you just just practice? Have a few. Like it would kill okay. you to go home tonight and draw uh, a few practice drumsticks. Hey, watch the cricket and draw a few sticks. Okay, okay, I will. I mean, this well, is sure. a, no. this will be on my body forever. So take it seriously. But if you guys do a good I job, feel like I'm the only one taking it seriously. <laughs> that's that's what I'm feeling. I believe in you guys. This is an inspirational moment for the band. This okay. will be a bit of a remember the time when you guys came together and freehand drew a pair of yeah. excellent yeah. textbook drumsticks yeah. on hey. my upper bicep. You remember it every time you have a shower. Yeah, you be there for your whole life. My son will, son will remember it every time he goes to rub the drawings off my arm and can't figure out why they won't go. <laughs> Ham, our tour. Cool Boys and the Frontmen is our band. Welcome to new listeners. I'm sorry for going over old ground, but it's yourself on electronic drums, Jack on electric guitar. I'm on bagpipes, but and also on the trumpet for the secret song. We've got one secret song we're working on. True, Ando, you are by by instrumental. Yeah. We only play one song per gig, everybody. Yep. This is last time we played. Two worlds collided. That's all we need. Um, the other thing about our band, we have a rotating frontman. One gig per frontman. Then we moved them on. That was Conrad Sewell. He yeah. served us well. And we've moved that song on. Yeah. Uh, we moved that song on. We now sing ACDC's Long Way to the Top. Yep. It's coming together. We haven't felt like rehearsing for a few days. We've just been busy. <laughs> If we feel like it, mm. we're going to rehearse tomorrow just to make sure, you know, we're ready. Yeah. But a lot of this stuff, you, you, you don't know how you're going to go till the day. Mm. I'm, I'm really counting on game day nerves to yeah. lift up our professionalism <laughs> and our hopefully our musical ability. Our ability. Because on Monday night, mm. we drive the bus from Melbourne to the border region between Victoria and New South Wales, the Albury Wodonga region yes. for Wodonga Catholic College's Year Ten formal. We asked the people of the People Show to go have to tell us what parties they had going, what look, events. We want this to be. Really, the people's band tour. And we want you to, between four and six each day, tune in, feel the excitement, feel the adventure of being in a tour bus, gigging, getting ready for yeah. the gig, which is what Monday's show will be about. It'll be full of pre-show nerves. Alexia joins us. We haven't caught up with anyone from the Wodonga Catholic College. Alexia, you are in year 10. You're heading to the formal. Yes, I am. Great, Very Alexia. Exciting. Have now, you got your dress, got everything ready? I've got everything ready to go. <sighs> Spray tan? Yep, got it done today. Great. Is that too <laughs> early? <laughs> Should Hamish be getting his ready? Really? You got it done four days out. Is that normal? Yeah, yeah it is for me anyway. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, because I will have a spray tan as well, Alexia. You can't wait to have it again. I'm having, no, amazing. no, Jack forced me to get one. That was the thing he made me do for the tour, and I hate it. I hate um, being, no, I love Noi being real pale and kind of blotchy, and I hate having a golden tan whilst on stage, but I'm getting mine Sunday night. Now, I'm going super dark. Should I go super dark? <laughs> no, or you might just be, play it cool. Just be played a little cool. I reckon cool. do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Thanks, oh, Alexia. Alexia. Great stuff. Hey, what's Alexia. the vibe like for the form? Everyone excited? Oh, my God. Everyone is ready, pumped, and we're all keen. We haven't spoken to you since we changed the song on you. Now, I feel like a year 10 for, uh, former would have preferred Uptown Funk. That was the initial song Bruno we were doing. Mars. Now we're playing an uh, Aussie rock, you know, legendary song in A Long Way to the Top ACDC. Is that okay with the, um, what was the vibe at when school? When we heard the um, change, we actually weren't, like, that surprise. We thought it was um, a really cool song anyway, because a lot of people know it. So, yep. And we've got a lot of um, metal heads in our year, so Great. they love it too. All right, get them to the front yeah. before we come on. Because the way I understand it, Alexia, you've got the DJ playing, mm. 
um, and then I think he sort of pumps up the crowd. Mm. We also yeah. heard... The Veronicas are going to be the front people. The Veronicas are going to be our front people, which will be huge. But we want Fresh the, off a huge performance of the Arias last we night. We want the crowd kind of buzzing before yeah. us and the Ronnies come out. Um did I hear there's sort of like a formal dancing part of this formal? Like, do you have to do one official dance where your parents come and take photos and stuff? Um, so we do seven dances at the start. So we walk out on the stage and then we like we get introduced yep. and then we go around and do seven dances. Yep. And um, that's are they when fast the, dances or slow moving dances? There's uh, like a bit of mix. Like, it's can we get the fast cool. ones at the back? I just, it just feels like a bit of a vibe. Are we, are we talking like cha cha like, and like I'm cancel it? Are we? Are we? <laughs> No, we can't cancel the dances. Okay, I assume, sorry, I Alexia, more, yeah, you've yeah. been practicing your dances for ages. Yes, we just okay. had a practice today. At this school, is their big so. moment. Sure, sure. Just um, seems just keep it up like, towards it, the end of the dance. But Ando, these are proper dances. These are like they're learning how to tango and stuff. I assume not, they're not coming out and, like twerking <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Or, or are you, Alexia? I mean, no, we're doing um, a jive and the Pride of Erin and a few other. <laughs> that's right. And then okay. the DJ comes on, brings the vibe DJ, back up. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Alexia, that's exciting. We've got a rider item each. Yeah. Um, Haim, do you want to go yours first? Well, Alexia, uh, do you know what a rider is? That's the stuff that you have to give the band, otherwise they won't go on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. usually it's drinks and food and it can be all sorts of crazy stuff because <laughs> yeah. um, we can just have whatever we want because we're in a band. Yeah. Um, but we were trying to... Flowrider it... asked for a whole chicken. <laughs> yeah, we had Flowrider play here once, Alexia, and he asked Would... for a bottle of Cristal, which is a $700 bottle of champagne that he just oh, then he sprayed on the crowd. And he wouldn't go on until we got him a chicken. And he needed two seriously. chickens, yeah. two roast chickens. Um, anyway. I think ours would be easier. Hey, what are you going for? It's a bottle of Cristal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, do you have access to the tuck shop, Alexia? Um, we do, yes. Can you get me a little esky full of either Sunny Boys or Zupa Dupas or? Well, we don't have Sunny Boys or Zupa Dupas. We should probably get some of them. Ice- what's, what's your best icy pole? Um, I'm not sure. Just, just throw an icy pole for well, a drumstick, obviously. <laughs> yeah. if it's we a can nice get cream. you a chalky milk and a pie. Done. Done. Jack, Thank you. Jack, do you have one? I don't have a bed on the tour bus as yet yeah. because there's not a Christmas list. <laughs> no, you can't no... ask for a sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm asking for an air mattress. For the rider, oh, so you can yeah. take. Yes. Well, take it with you. <laughs> no, well, then, why not? This is not. You're not. We're not at the gifting tree at Tamar. The, I heard the silver chair once at the big day out asked for a merry-go-round. Yeah, so they could muck around on it. They didn't take it with them. <laughs> no, no. I you can't just was. go. I'd, I'd like. I'd <laughs> like a new pair of jeans, uh, uh, Alexia. I'd like a new guitarist on, on the rider, please. <laughs> oh, okay, Alexia. Jax is an air mattress. You can stay in its packaging. <laughs> he doesn't actually want it as a rider. He's just asking for presents. <laughs> Alexia, we what do you want, Ando? I want a new guitarist after that comment. <laughs> Alexia, thank you very much for joining us. Hey, we Alexia, cannot wait to see you Monday with the Veronicas. One more thing, Alexia. Is it dates and stuff? Like, do you guys have dates, or is it just everyone come? Bit of a Free for all. Um, no, well, we have formal partners, so we've got our partners chosen for us. Oh, th- part- no, you didn't get the excitement of choosing. So you got it's like an arranged thing. Yeah, yeah. Who would you get? I got Jake Hill. Ooh. Happy with him? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, cool. I'll be. Uh, yeah, we all know Hilly. Can't wait to meet him. Can't wait to meet him on Monday. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. It's Pants Off Friday. Hamish and Andy with you, and uh, Ham. Our last show from the studio for the year. Before we go on holidays, Ando, well, a band holiday. I mean, it's a one-week band tour. I certainly view it as, um, you know, time out. It's time not for... time out. It's time on. So we get in the game. I'm in the game. That's how I, that's how I perform. <laughs> ice in my veins. <laughs> people, people look at me and just go, this guy's got actual ice cold water running through my veins. Yeah, because you're so I'm cool professional. Because and and my right. attitude all next week will just be total holiday mode. <laughs> You've got to relax me, otherwise I can't find the beat. And if I can't find the beat, we don't have the song. Okay, so you haven't been relaxed so far then. Yeah, yeah that's right, because you guys are always at me, getting in my face. Too much chat in the band. And if I'm going to be the drummer next week, you, num, band num, priority number one has to be relax, mate. <laughs> we and if gonna... I'm relaxed, I will find the beat. We're going to chat to someone who we believe may be the oldest groupie. Yeah. Uh, they've contacted us over email who's making a journey to Rankin Springs, our gig in the middle of New South Wales. Tuesday night's gig, we've found someone, yeah, over 80, yeah. well over 80, who will, um, who's a big Cool Boys on the Frontman fan, which is, it's always great to meet another fan. But before we get into it, I've got, um, I've got something serious to bring up with the band. On a Friday, on a pants off Friday. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, don't, bro, don't bring enough if it won't relax me. <laughs> I don't think it's going to relax you. Well, then you're jeopardising the tour. <laughs> I know, but something else is jeopardising the tour. Are you pulling out? 
I had a hunch you'd do this. You know what? I read <laughs> Jack's all, actual face is... No, well... All the stories yeah. about Kanye, like, cancelling his tour, I knew you'd read that the Kanye stuff and you'd go, geez, he's getting worldwide fame for cancelling shows. Yeah. And I knew that would play to you because you're a little bit of a Kanye copycat. Well, <laughs> well you, the shoes you bought out did look a lot like Yeezy 2s. Okay. Um, well, something's come up. Oh, here we go. Something is... <laughs> Mate, thin ice, my friend. Thin ice. Yesterday, obviously, and people can check it out it's on our Instagram pipe and social pipes. Yesterday, um, I had my moustache. Yep. Um, it was just a normal moustache, and yep. now it's a moustache. It was dyed uh, bright white. Yep. Um, because uh, obviously, I had to become a bus driver, and all bus drivers have a, a grey or white moustache. You are the tour bus driver for Monday. Mm. When I first revealed it to you guys, you thought it was a little bit. To yellow, that was a bit blonde, um, more Swedish, straw coloured. And yeah. so I went back out to Joey, who was doing it, and yeah. said, "Hey, we've got to go wider. We've got to go wider." And he said, "Okay, well, I'll warn you. You could burn your face. Anything for like, the team. Do you want your team player medal or not? Exactly. So I did. Um, went for another nearly well forty minutes of of the dye. Yep. And um, I've burnt my entire top lip and my face, as you can see around That's okay. here. And I can't play the trumpet." Or the pipes, you silly goose. <laughs> yeah, you can. What you what you actually mean to say is you can't play them w- without pain. I can't play them without pain. Yeah, that's okay. There no, 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 no. Well, that's no, a solution. No, no. Well, that's like someone going, "Oh, sir, I can't well, keep walking." No, soldier. Yeah. yeah. What you mean to say is you can't keep walking without pain. <laughs> and what you're learning what is pain what is the got, cost of being part of your unit. What we've got is a well. I mightn't play well, and so I want to put that to the team without so being in a, pain. A classic. Pain threshold issue. A, a, a classic grooming error. <laughs> a classic grooming error. You, you can't Jeff have it, groomed yourself it, out of the band. <laughs> you haven't moustached okay, yourself I, off the tour. A, a, I'll tell a, you this for grooming, nothing. A, you, <laughs> careful, because at the moment, mm. playing the trumpet for our secret song and the bagpipe for Long Way to the Top, mm. that's the bit where it's all worth it, mate. That's the bit where the cachet comes in. You'll still be coming, but yeah. you will just be you and your festy top lip driving the bus and running errands for me and Jack because no, you'll become our butler. Errands. You'll no, become no, our butler. No, I won't. Well, the only other thing your moustache is good it's for a, is a silver-haired butler. A grooming error, a classic grooming error <laughs> has jeopardised the big event. <laughs> and I just want to tell oh, look, I'll see how I repair over the weekend. <laughs> I'm going to put a lot of paw on it. Is this just another classic set you up for a comeback <laughs> situation? <laughs> Just Andy Lee 101. Oh, guys, I've, we'll I've, I've, bro- I've broken my knees, but I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can just rough them back into place. 131060 has a grooming error. <laughs> Jeopardised the big event. God, you're What's I mean, happened? I'll tell you what, we'll get hair straightener burns. Oh, yeah. Have you ever touched one of those things? No. Man, I almost burnt two fingers clean up. It's like touching a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> We've all got our own issues, mate. Mm. I mean, what's yours? You're gonna... My helmet's too heavy for my neck. <laughs> you know that's my problem. Yeah, I know. I can only you have refused... it on my head for about five minutes. You refuse to practice because your helmet's too heavy. And I said to you, well, let's, not, let's practice without your helmet on. You went, well, what's the point of that? What's the point? Well, you, you're, you're training match conditions or no conditions. You don't train. I, I, why, why train myself out, out of the headspace I need to be in? No, I just have to. I might have to wear a neck brace to support my head. <laughs> yeah, I think so because the helmet's so heavy. Everybody, we trained. We, we did one rehearsal. Hamish got towards the end of the song. Went, nah, can't so do it. The hell with <laughs> it. Might have to be. I might have to wear my helmet on stage and take it off to play. Like I'd, I'd like to not wear my sombrero at all. No, th- no, look, looks, while we're at it, I'd love to not wear the Guys, we're wearing, <laughs> we're wearing our outfits, okay? They're our stage outfits. I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to do for the band. Yeah. I'm going to wear my helmet and suck it up. And okay. that's why I've earned my team player medal. Well, okay. You Josh, haven't got a team player medal. Well, I do. I've 13, 10, 60. Josh, after I burned my whole lip so I can't play the trumpet. Yeah, we peroxided peroxide Andy's, <laughs> Andy's lip off. Yeah. Um, have you had a grooming area that affected the big event? Ahoy, Hamish, Andy, and Jack. Ahoy, uh, ahoy, ahoy, Josh. Add Jack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Jack. Well, he never gets mentioned, so... Yeah, yeah but there's, you know, so... there's a huge backstory to that, so <laughs> just um, go with your instinct and Hamish and Andy's fine. <laughs> so, um, every time I play footy, big game, little game, medium game, every single time, I do my hair. got to look good while you're playing sport, yep. right? <laughs> every single time. Now, footy, it rains. Yeah, it does. Obviously. It rains, the wax in my eyes, I can't see. <laughs> okay. This is, so uh, Josh, on. how old are you? 20. 20. Um, look, I'm, yeah, we're, we're just a sniff over 30. Yeah. 
but uh, back when we would play sport, Just this, this is five years. <laughs> this is well, I'm only 34. This late 90s, Josh. There was a thing. I don't know if people still wear it. It's like fudge, coconut fudge. Like, is that still a thing in the orange tub? Yeah. We would go bananas with fudge <laughs> in our hair, like half a tub. And playing sport, you'd have rivers of white <laughs> coconut. <laughs> Looked like someone had poured a, like an emptied a can of coconut cream on your head. <laughs> you could, you, you could, you could basically, you could hold a bowl under your chin yeah. and do coconut rice for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, as a grooming era affected the big event. What was the event? Ahoy, boy. Ahoy. Ahoy, uh, Christmas three years ago, my aunt bought me a brand new curling iron. Yeah. So I thought, you know, I was young and I thought I'd try and curl my own hair and I burnt a massive spot right in the middle of my forehead. Oh, you burnt a bit? In the middle of your forehead? Yeah. So I was curling one of the front pieces in front of my head and yeah. lint it on the front of my head right at the end. Before so Perfect before, circle. Before what event? Uh, for Christmas for Day. For Christmas Day. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Special Christmas For Christmas burn. lunch fam- with all my family. At least the family, though, are forgiving. I mean... Are they? <laughs> they, they? You ever been to dinner weren't. with my dad? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is true. This Thanks, is true. Sam. Sally. Ahoy, Sally. You've had a grooming Ahoy, mishap ahead boy. of your wedding day. Have you had a wedding one, Sal? I've, yeah, it was a disaster. I, um, I have dark blonde, light brown hair, and uh, six days before my wedding, I went to get my usual few foils on the top. And my hairdresser was away, so they said to me, oh, we've got this lovely French man who's filling in. And I thought, how exotic. And um, so anyway, he did the foils, and uh, I walked out of the hairdresser in shock with platinum blonde, I'm talking white Gwen Stefani hair. (laughs) And uh, so I went home, went back a couple of days later in tears, and they explained to me the only way they could fix this was to fill it with a red and then do a brown over the top of it. And I thought, well, for me, that's going to be better than the other option. So I got married with dark brown hair and then spent the next six months with red hair as the brown faded out and it was just a disaster. A a wedding memento for you. But that's that's fine because they don't take many photos at a wedding. No, you can can wear a hat. (laughs) Good thing about the bride is you've got that hat. (laughs) <laughs> I wear a top hat for my wedding. The bride helmet always <laughs> saves you from... Bring in the cricket hair. helmet, guys. You know hair how to go. I'm just getting into cricket. <laughs> Richard, you've had a grooming mishap, my friend. Took you out I of the big event. have. Yeah. Rich, I'm oh, glad we're getting... A, yeah, ahoy, Rich. I'm glad we're getting a lot of blokes yeah. here um, to sympathise with Ando, who has burnt his top lip, dyeing his moustache white, so <laughs> now he's... In jeopardy for next week's band to... Uh, Fitness um, test Monday morning, I think. He's certainly out for the trumpet. Might be out for the bagpipes too. What have you done, Rich? Okay, if you remember uh, some time ago when old Shane Warne was still playing cricket mm-hmm, sure. and he was coming in Boxing Day test for his uh, 700th wicket. Yep, big moment. I, I thought it would be a great idea. Uh, you know how people put a bit of zinc cream on their body in preparation for the one days and things like that? Yep, yep. That I might shave the big 700 into my chest to celebrate it. <laughs> wow, this is great. Have you got a thick rug, Rich? Oh, I do, yeah. I do. I'm okay. one of those one of those gentlemen that tends to have a bit of hair around the body. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so you were sort of saying to your mates, "Listen, guys, I can't promise anything, but keep an eye on Channel Nine today because yeah. once that 700 yeah. drops, they'll find <laughs> I me." I could in the be crowd. getting on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I uh, turn up to the ground. Thought it'd be a good idea to finally get the shirt off, only for the blokes to turn around and go, "Mate, I think you've been looking in the mirror. That oh. just says 007." <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> because Shane Warne has a license to kill stumps, and that's what I was going for because 700 is too obvious. <laughs> cool Boys and the Frontman with Guy Sebastian. Live from Byron Bay's Beach Hotel for the final show of the year. Certainly is. We leave on Monday to embark on our tour. You're on electronic drums, Jack. On guitar, I am on bagpipes. That is not me playing in the background. But it's the level. Bloody close. It's the level we expect you to hit, Ando. Yes. It's real now. Mm. It's real. We're going on tour on Monday. We hop on the bus too early for my liking, but 7 o'clock is the call. Yep. We hop on the tour bus and we start our adventure next week, Ando. But hopefully everything goes smoothly. And by next Friday, uh, exactly a week from today, we will be on stage at the Byron Bay Beach Hotel playing in that iconic pub, the easternmost pub of Australia, yep. as uh, as we have a thousand people there in the in the pub and a few um, other tens of thousands schoolies looking on mm. <laughs> to finish out the year and to play the final gig. It's sold out, obviously. It's sold yep. out in a couple of hours, but there is a way to get in across the workday. People have been identifying the song that mm. we, as an instrumental band, have been trying to play in our jamming space. Yes, um, and they've 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 identified it correctly, which gets them through to here, the final round. 
Rebecca, Rebecca, Join ahoy. Rebecca, you've jo- oh, drawn barrier oh, one, you've... which means you're a real chance. If you can identify this song, it comes after a bit of an argument, which is not unusual for our band. If but you're a you fan ready? of the band, you'd have to be used to arguing. Sorry, <laughs> Becky, are you, re- are you ready? I think so. Okay, good luck, Rebecca. Good luck. This is us at rehearsal during the week. I like the way yeah, you picked you it, Jack. The whole time, yeah. Jack, there was drums in this. You just played it to me off your phone. <laughs> it was a tambourine at best. So what yeah, there's, there's percussion in this song. I, I got to stop letting you pick these. Yeah, this is great. If we were doing another, another one of these, another this, you're lucky choice. this is our last, because if we're doing another one, tomorrow it would just be like, you know, at Taekwondo tournaments, how there's like 50 people on drums. That would be that. That would be what I picked. No guitar. Well, yeah, there's Jim. no contest on Saturday. So and it would have yeah. been a really tough one for the listeners. Is that, March, is, that, is that March of the Athletes from Taekwondo Hits 88? Uh, anyway, just going to launch into this. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. What am I just doing? Ding dings on the symbols. Yes. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Can it, trumpet man? You, you, there is no trumpet in it, by the way. Hot shot. You just keep playing the song part, the vocal well, parts in trumpet, because no one writes music for trumpets because we're trying to phase it out as an instrument. And a one, two, three, four. Sorry. Okay. No, you have to get going. That's the rule. There was, I guess there was drums. <laughs> the drums were not accurate to the song there at all. It Sorry, Beck. A small percussive bit behind. When but... you're a drummer and you feel it, you take the shot. <laughs> oh, I hope it didn't put Rebecca off. Beck, what's um, your guess? I mean, have I you, can you correctly identify I... good musicians playing a song perfectly? Look, I think you executed it perfectly. Mm-hmm. I think it's somebody that I used to know by Gotien. Beck, Beck, you got it! You're coming. <laughs> You're going to be there crowd surfing your way through the Beach Hotel as we play Long Way to the Top next week. And the secret song. We'll and the secret, secret song. song. Don't forget, there will be a secret <laughs> song to be revealed on the day. Rebecca, flights, accommodation to the Byron Bay um, Beach Hotel. Beck, talk us through who you're going to take. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. I have to think about it. Yeah. It's a privilege. Yeah. Yeah, well, like this weekend, people obviously hopefully they hear this. You should, yeah, you should just sit at your house and have your friends bring you gifts. <laughs> yes. And you select yes. the best friend <laughs> for, uh, <laughs> by virtue of the best gift they've given you. Good luck, Beck. We will see you next, uh, next Friday yeah. at the hotel. This is, look, well, it's exciting for me. Welcoming to the, to, uh, the show, uh, Jake King. Of course, people will remember him, ex AFL football player for Richmond. It just so happens that you're here because. We rang and said to, to the to your place, you know, yep. City of Inc. Yep. You were the closest to do place, and then realised that you were chatting to us when we said, "Can you someone come in and give us a gun?" I guess thirty seconds of experience and knowledge, and then Hamish and I, sorry, then Jack and I are going to have a yeah. go at tattooing Hamish's arm. So, Jank, you're here to, I guess, supervise like um, hygienically that the tattoo equipment's all top notch and it looks bloody good. Yeah, um, no, no, it definitely looks good. Straight out of China, so it can't go wrong. That's good, um, yeah. good to hear. Perfect. Straight um, off the, straight out of the box. So first, and quiz, just tell. I mean, yeah, Jake, you few... just tell Andy and Jack how to do it, and then I'll get my tattoo done. We got a few questions. First, I mean, Jack, you'd probably have a few questions as well. But uh, Jake, how hard do you press down? That's a good one. Um, well, I'll set the needle up so you can run it off the tube. So what happens what is mean, it'll good. go in a certain depth. Yeah. And no matter how hard you push, it actually won't go any deeper. What are we yeah. talking, two mil? Um, probably about four. Jeez, so three that. to four. Okay. So okay. I'm, okay. I'm guessing starting off, I don't want to put it any deeper because um, being mates as we do, we tend to not care about the other one's feelings so much. So yeah. you see, you've heard our band so. rehearsals. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true, Ham. Thanks, mate. I care about you greatly. Let's, I mean, for people just tuning in, the whole, the tattoo I want to get is two drumsticks because yep. I'm the drummer of our band. Mm. Um, crossed over. So obviously the front stick is easy to draw. You draw the full stick. Mm. Yes. And the one crossed behind is gap. There's gaps involved there. There's, you know, you're taking their needle off and putting it back on. That's Jack's stick. Jack, do you want me to go first or you to go first? Uh, I'm happy to go either way. I'm a good drawer, so if you want me to leave a gap no. for you to draw no, the front drumstick stick through the middle. <laughs> front stick goes first. That'd be impossible. You won't get through that gap. <laughs> Certainly you won't hit it twice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think it's probably best that the front stick goes first than you. Because then if front stick's on there, Jack, you can look at it and go, okay, I'll match that stick. Mm. What I want you guys to do, because there's, there's a very... Normally when you get a tattoo, Jack, correct me if I'm wrong here, but as you can see, I've got a fair bit of ink. Yeah. Um, you, people, you sort of draw it on like a bit of paper and it's like carbon and then that transfers on the arm and 
you know, it so, just takes ages, that process. Yeah, so I want these you, guys to freestyle their sticks. Jake, so, how many people have have you seen just come in and not have any kind of template and just freestyle the ink? Like this, without actually drawing it onto the skin even? Yeah. Not, none. So. <laughs> Isn't it true <laughs> yeah. that in tattoo <laughs> circles, um, this is a, like that's a really high regarded, like, you know, you're like a black belt of tattooing if you don't need to. I think you're the master. So my, my concern was... Look at that, guys. So I, if you uh, get it right, yeah, you guys well, are straight to black belt. Yeah. My, my concern was I, I actually said, right, I print out the... Um, drumsticks and then yeah. trace it onto the bit of paper so you can stencil it onto the arm. Yeah. And then you boys said no. So I just assumed you were going to freehand draw it on the arm. And my concern was if you freehand draw it on the arm, when you go to wipe away the ink or if there's a bit of blood, you might wipe off the actual ink to the stencil. Yeah. And no, no. Then I then, told you then no. Then I, I got told, yeah. No, we're just going to go for it. You're yeah. Just <laughs> well, yeah well, I mean, do you guys know what a drumstick design. looks like. I mean, what are you, what are you simple? You don't know what a drumstick looks <laughs> like? like? It's like it's a very thin sausage with a little knob on the end. <laughs> like Hamish with his drums and has no idea what he's doing. That's the point. We're just going to have a go heart. for it. Okay, Ham, ha, pa, pass me the piece of paper. I want you guys now, this is the last shot you get. I want you to practice. Yep. How big do you want it? Very, very, the uh, same size as the anchor. I just want it next to the anchor okay, there. Okay, so that's about two centimetres. Right, it's about four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's a start of a sleeve. That's what it, it is. It okay. is a sleeve, Jake. <laughs> um, Jake, he wants it very small. It's actually hard to draw small because it's more fine details. Whereas if we were drawing it big, it would be quite easy. Yeah, definitely. So the smaller it is, I've the harder mine. it's that's going good, to be. How do you feel about it? Andy's drawn his stick. Jack, yeah. I want you to draw your stick behind it um, because I... I know this won't go on my arm, obviously. This is great, Andy. I'll just, you, you guys yeah, will man. then freestyle that. You're in good nick, Ando. So you're, you. you're on I what feel... we call a hot streak in the freehand <laughs> tattooing <laughs> game, which no, is you've come off a good that. drawing, yeah. so the next drawing you do should be good. Yeah. Jack's doing his stick too. Okay, Jack. So now we can have a little picture. They're great, guys. Look at that, Jake. These guys can draw. Yeah, it looks like a time symbol, but it's okay. It's, <laughs> it's actually... Yeah, I'm a maths fan. He does love maths. All right, let's... What we did, we simply did that so we can compare how... And I can hold it up afterwards to see how you How went. we went under pressure versus how we've gone beforehand. Um, all right, we go to a song on the other side of this. So can I just ask, have you, you obviously, do you do some tattooing, Jake? Yep. Yeah. What's the difference between drawing with pen on paper and yep. drawing with a tattoo gun on human flesh? What's, um, the big, what's the big difference in like? Do I go really slowly in, or in conditions? So, well, what what you'll find is drawing on a bit of paper. It's actually you, you're very relaxed and easy. But when you're actually about to put it on someone's body and you know it's going to be there for the rest of their lives, mm. and you can't rub it out yeah. or throw it away or wipe it off, nerves tend to kick in just a just a little <laughs> this, bit. So, so this is actually an excellent test for our it, band. It, yes, definitely. See if you can control so, your nerves, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to tattoo you, Ham. I'm sitting in front of you. You have your arm presenting. Um, and a little tattoo the, um, pad. Do you and, need to put ink in that first? Uh, well, we get, and, and Jake is standing by. Um, essentially, everybody, we're just going to try and freestyle it. There is no template. Uh, Hamish did want a new tat uh, uh, to obviously continue his sleeve. Um, like, what's the diff, though, between having... Do you want the, the drumsticks facing up or down? Like oh good call yeah up actually up okay that's cool. upside down okay, um, cool. what's the diff between um, like just drawing a line on and having it stenciled versus doing it again like I mean you can repeat it's a drumstick it's two drumsticks crossed over each other it's not yeah. a hard tattoo to do no. you're gonna do one drumstick. Hand it over to Jack. Yep. I wish people could have heard the discussion in here between <laughs> you guys and Jake, who's just come up from City of Ink, only a few doors away from the studio here, rapidly trying to explain to you how to tattoo a human being. And I and you and you were saying to me, Jake, that you'll I'll feel the ink, the, the needle go in. You'll feel it go in. I'll yep. feel it go in. Yeah. And then I just and then I just move slowly. And then just drag it along how? as if you're drawing, just nice and slow, as if you're tra as if you're tracing something. As so if you're playing a bagpipe no. note. So this might be that over no within line. like yeah seconds, twenty seconds or so. And oh. if if you want to butcher it, maybe. But All right. just take Very your slow. time. Take your time. Yeah, okay. Remember, it's forever on my arm. <laughs> now it doesn't look like I've got any ink yeah, in my gun yet. Yeah, haven't got any. So okay. you want to dip it into the ink over there. Yeah, just like so this. Dip the end of it in. Yep. Yep. And then what? Put your foot just on the machine, and yep. that'll activate the machine in your hand. Easy, Ando. So do I push the foot there? Yep. There you go. It doesn't seem so to be activated. Have we pulled it out yeah, or something? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I'm pressing the wrong side. Yep. So the good thing about this, Ando, is like Jake said, <laughs> nice and smooth. You know, in, you know in Karate Kid, how Mr. Miyagi makes Daniel-san do heaps of stuff that he doesn't think is like karate, like yeah. paint the fence, wash the car? 
That's what this is about. Nice and smooth, Enough master your nerves, just okay. like you'll have to on stage with our <clears> band <throat> on Monday night. So do I have it buzzing when I when so, I stab him? No, so yes, yeah, so buzz it before but it buzz actually before goes before We should point out yeah. Facebook Live, if people are near our Facebook page, <laughs> you can you can watch this happening live, the live tattooing. So start buzzing now. Buzz now. And then stretch your skin. Oh wow. I saw how I was, yep. Yeah, it buzzes back and forth very fast because it's a needle that's putting ink under the skin. Okay. Do you know which like what are you doing? Downstroke, upstroke? <laughs> upstroke. Cool. Here we go. You're the tattoo artist. How are you feeling about it? Do your best. I trust try, you. I believe in try you. Try and keep it straight when you're going. So into Andy it. is uh, okay. just about to hit. Okay, I'm going in now. Here. Hamish's skin for the first time on his upper bicep, drawing a drumstick. <laughs> here we go. Is it, are you going in or are you just? I think you are. I mean, I can certainly feel a needle going into my skin. Okay, he's taking his time, which is good. Yep. So he told us. So to stop. Jake's just told you to stop and have a wipe. <laughs> We've got our first line. You started wobbly, but you um, regained form, didn't yes, you? Yes, yes. So I'm, dis I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. It's probably more of a... <laughs> it's a bit more of a bell end than I'd hoped. Yep, probably. It's but... not too phallic at this stage, and that was always going to be the concern, that it looked like I had two little Ds and no Bs on my yeah, arm. Yeah, but I think we're fine. But at the moment, you're doing really well. So let's just bring it home and rejoin you, the bottom there. A little bit of it. blood coming out. That's all right. That's okay. a tattoo, man. I've got a lot of this ink before. Okay, <laughs> sure? If I was scared of blood, I wouldn't have the amount of bloody tattoos I have. Isn't that right, Jacko? They're right. very small. Yeah. And, now, okay. Jake, as oh, Andy sleep. does the second side of the drumstick... Shall I go for it? Yep. So try and... Try and Pick it up from the top? Yep, from the top. where you left off. Okay. So, use, yep, foot first. There we go. Nice and easy, mate. You're definitely in. And is um, there a risk if he gets the lines of the drumstick too close together, they'll bleed together, or it, uh, it doesn't might, really matter? There you go. Up, you you might be done. I think I might have done it. <laughs> oh, it's a bit wobbly. Yeah, but that's because okay. hey, that sticks do get hit up a bit. Like they do. Like, it's got kinks in it, doesn't it? Because you, you you hit... <laughs> you've done a good job. <laughs> well done. I mean, it's a little, it's a wiggly worm. Yeah. But, um, Maybe if you flex, you'll straighten it out. It, oh geez, I'd have to flex in a very awkward way. So the important thing now for you, Jack, is to match that. <laughs> <laughs> the, Just so it doesn't look like I've done the wrong one. I mean, it does look like a plastic spoon that's been left on the stove a bit and melted. I'm but looking, gosh, my heart was racing a bit. Yeah, uh, did you get addicted, okay. mate? Pardon? Addicted? I felt no. like you and I were in prison for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just yeah. passing away the days. <laughs> okay, I'm out of the... So, diff in, Jack. So yeah, take your gloves off. Yeah, you want to oh, quack? Jack! Oh, Jack! Jack. 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 Sorry, sorry, I've made a mess there. I sprayed the, I sprayed the ink Jack. across the table. Jack, Jack. has exploded the ink everywhere. It's okay. It's okay, is it? Is Better okay? to make your yeah, mistakes no, outside of the skin, though, rather than in. Oh, it's okay, it's yeah. just made a mess. And no, yes. if, this was, so if this is a test just... on how Jack's handling his nerves, that worries me. Exactly. Yeah. And Jack, Jack, you've got to start the song. Yeah, stay. I'll, I'll do it during the song if you want. No, no, I'm saying you've got no, to start the song when we're out there on, on set. On oh, sorry, stage, you have to handle your nerves a lot better than this. Now, Jack, is your head in the game? I haven't even learned where the button is. Where am I so pressing? The button. Oh, you're you're button. Button. Oh, the Oh, yeah, now I see him go. going. There okay, go. yep. I'm ready, Jack, and... Good luck. I'm ready, Hayne, so I'm going to pull, pull your skin back a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sprayed some... Keep it straight. Try and keep it straight. So try, try and keep it straight. That, yeah. That yeah. Oh, that's a lot harder. That's not how you draw with a pen. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Particularly you, mate. Okay. I'm going to actually go downwards rather than up. Good boy. Good boy. Good luck, everyone. God, he's a wobbly old thing, isn't he? So oh keep my. your foot down. Keep your foot down. Ow! The whole time. Where, where is he going? Where, 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 where is, is he going? Where is he going? Keep your foot on you it the whole, the whole time. time. Jack, okay. Okay. did that hurt? Yeah, yeah but you've gone the wrong way. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going down keep like that and back up. But he's it, okay. He's okay. No, no, no. Trust, trust me. Trust you know he's not. Keep your foot down. Don't take your foot off. Keep mate. Thanks, Jake. Sorry, Ham. Hey, Jack. Oh. No, that's okay. <laughs> He's making an absolute mess of my arm. Okay. To describe it to people at home, it's certainly a Hang wider drumstick. It's more of a it's, yeah. it's more of a drumstick on a on a on a ruler. The way you're going, the way you're going, Jack. I mean, if you're trying to keep that's this enough, symmetrical, Jake. I'm just trying to keep this more, symmetrical. You've you've done a drumstick. Putting that's about some a more foot, ink in the foot and needle. A half longer than Andy's Ready one. to go back to the operating table. He's heading up. He's now gone very high and done. Oh, you've gone so fast, you panicky <laughs> Pete. <laughs> and then, oh, you've drawn a sick tadpole. No. I, can, and can I just can I uh, tidy up this bottom you, end? You of can it? try and touch up that yeah, little bit. Just there. a little just touch up for a touch real up. slowly over the line. Straight again, Jack. You're on, the, you're on an angle again. Oh, sorry, Andy. Yeah. Get your foot on it. Sorry, Andy. 
You butchered my arm, mate. Okay, there we go. We stop. I, re- I bet if I could go again, I would be a lot better. <laughs> Is this what, what you want your tattoo artist to say after he's finished your tattoo? Hey boys, let's. That's let, pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. We've got I mean, they're not the same let's, length. Let's review it. Let's review it's it after a, this. It looks like a spoon on a sausage. <laughs> okay, but you did it, Jack. You did it without a drawing, mate. Well You're done. a black belt. Uh, Jake, have you seen a tattoo like that on any other person? I mean, you've probably seen some botch jobs about. No, definitely not. I'm like, have you seen sweating and nervous fully? <laughs> have you seen guys come out of prison with worse tattoos than that? Um, no, not really. no, no, nah, because you'd be worst. you'd be dead meat, Jake, if you did that to someone in jail. <laughs> It's a good first effort. Yeah. Oh, good first try. <laughs> shock at you. A little bit. <laughs> we'll go to a break. We'll go to a break. Guys, Stay I love it. Nanny. That's with me forever, and I and it's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Come and have a look at the tattoos, guy. I mean, so the idea was it say, was going to be a drumstick. Now Jack definitely had the harder position. He did because he was second. But he also had an example of how long to draw the stick already on my arm because <laughs> yeah. when you draw t- crossed sticks. Yes. And you've already drawn one stick, Ando. Yep. I would assume, and my fault, because I didn't explicitly say this out loud, mm. I was hoping for same length drum sticks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're not to know this, Jack, because you're not a drummer, <laughs> but in the drum world, we usually do play with same length sticks. I would say you drew a drum stick, Ando, mm. and Jack, you drew like a riding whip length. <laughs> Like quite a, quite a longer instrument you've drawn yeah. um, than a, than a drumstick. What we should do on the road at a small town where we stop, hopefully someone that hasn't heard this, we should go up. I'll get them to identify what the and just go up and say, "What do you What's think this, this is?" Because I reckon a common that Monday at some way on our way to Wodonga, we just stop off somewhere in a small town and walk in and, and just do the test. We ask yep. five people if 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 one out of five say drumsticks, then would you be happy? Yep, that's a, a kind of yours looks a bit like a paintbrush and it depends which end you look at. Yeah. I've, I feel like I've got a I've got a paintbrush and an alphorn. Yeah. Or sometimes I've got a spoon hitting a sausage. And a sometimes snake. it looks like a hurling stick. <laughs> um which is an <laughs> odd sport they play in Ireland. Yeah. But um, I, I'm not wrong, am I? No. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> hey guys, but I'll tell you what I what, what I do think of this tat. Yeah. I love it cuz yeah. you tried. Yeah. It was from the heart that's and now it's a part of all of us. Particularly you. Mostly well, it's a bit your effort is now in my body. <laughs> yeah. Which is not something you get to say off. <laughs> no, it's not. Hame, we head off on Monday on our tour. It's the People's Tour. Join the tour through your radio between four and six. <laughs> but we are going to Wodonga Catholic College, where the Veronica is going to be our front people. On to Rankin Springs, where guys, uh, sorry, where Shannon Knowles, our front person. And we're playing on the back of a semi trailer because there's over a thousand people registered mm. as attending. This gig in Rankin Springs in what is a town of about 300 people. So Then, then on to Byron Bay. Hey, we want to concentrate on the Rankin Springs one just yep. for a moment because we've got an email um, and we hear that I would say one of our oldest groupies is going to be joining Certainly us up there. The elder end of the scale. I mean, we're going to end up at schoolies mm. um, and this would be... Can, you know, this would be someone averaging the uh, average age of our crowd upwards, a bit yeah. from the schoolies crowd. Elvine Boxall is her name. She joins us now. Elvine, how are you going? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to the show. Um, we are honoured to have you on. We heard from your daughter, you are an ex-resident of Rankin Springs, so in the middle of New South Wales. Do you currently live in Sydney? And we heard you're driving back for the gig. We are, yes. Myself and my cousin. By the way, I'm the younger of the two of us. Oh, of course. <laughs> how old's your cousin? My cousin is 89. <laughs> and, um, God, you've got it. You'd have her by some 20 odd years by the sounds of things, Elvin. How old are you, if you don't mind us asking? I'm 81. Oh, oh a young absolutely. and wild one. <laughs> Young and wild, that's us. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm, I'm so, glad you're taking someone a bit older to keep things responsible um, um, when yeah, you're on your road trip. Uh, Elvine, uh, were, were you born in Rankin Springs, we understand? I was, I was. I was born in the main street in the doctor's office. Mum didn't make it round to the Bush Nursing Hospital. <laughs> is it, I mean, is there a plaque or something there? I feel there like should be. There should be. There some... should be. Yes, there should be, but there's not, unfortunately. And do you know the pub we're talking about and where we're playing at, Elvine? I do indeed, yes, I do. I do indeed. The pub was uh, only a couple of doors away from my father's business. He was the stock and station agent down there in the <laughs> in the thirties. I mean, yeah. Elvine, you would have had some huge nights at the pub in your time. 
Well, I was only six. I don't think so. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, Elvin, no, your mum and dad would have. Yeah, Elvin, yourself? Mum and dad probably did. <laughs> one of my earliest memories of the pub is chasing the chooks belonging to the publican around oh. his backyard. Okay. So you're well, cutting... hopefully we, we get a few of those chooks in schnitzel form uh, <laughs> yeah. when we're there I on so. Tuesday night. <laughs> Elvin, we, I feel, it feels so special that you, you're coming. I mean, um, this is a huge effort it's from a, you. It's a huge effort and it's a huge honour for us to have someone, you know, so close to the town there and coming back. When's the last time you were in Rankin Springs? Uh, about 20 years ago, I think, at a school reunion. I mean, Elvin, it is schoolies at the moment. Um, so it's yeah. sort of like you and your cousin having your own kind of schoolies adventure. <laughs> it is a little, yes, it is indeed. Hey, Alvin, um, yes. we just got our merchandise today. Right. I don't know if we're authorised to do this because the merchandise was not cheap, as yes. they say in the business, so we uh-huh. do need to make some money back on the merch, mm. but we'd love to um, officially donate a uh, Cool Boys in the Front Man trucker cap to you and your cousin, Mary. Yeah. Oh, right, we'd love it. <laughs> I know you would, we'll Dal. Sit in the front row with them on. Yes, fantastic. That's what we want. Elvin, we That's will see we you there. You are wonderful. Can't wait to meet you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank good you. on you. Thanks, mate. <laughs> that is incredible, Hal. This is what this is what this gig's done, Ando. Exactly. It's, it's like bloody Woodstock. Rankin Springs is the only public gig, I suppose. True. I mean, the yeah, other yeah, ones the other, are private it, events. We can't, formal. You can't turn up as a member of the public to a year ten formal. Nor You'd to be arrested. a university graduation ball for nurses in Newcastle. It's too late um, to do the course now. Uh, Thirteen ten sixty. What we'd like to hear. We're so thrilled to hear from Elvin. Are you going to one of the gigs? Yeah. Are you going to be there? Are you in year 10 at Wodonga? Jan- Are you graduating as a nurse? Bumped into a girl on the street today heading to Byron. Yeah. Uh, her and her mates in year 12, just finished year 12, heading to Byron. Yeah. Hit me up for tickets for the gig. They hadn't bought them? Couldn't do it. No. no I don't have them. Can't get them. <laughs> well, exactly, but they hadn't bought them. Hadn't bought them, but yeah. I mean... They can't. I suppose they can't call up because they're not going to the Byron gig, but they'll be near the Byron gig. <laughs> no, if you've got tickets to the Byron gig, we want to hear from you. 13, 10, 60. Rare chance we have to talk to the people coming to the shows. Emma. Which gig have you got, Emma? Hi, Byron Bay. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy, Ahoy Emma. Ahoy, so em. you managed to buy tickets? Yes. Um, my boyfriend, well, fiancé, called me one minute before they went on sale and said, quick, get on, you've got to get him. Nice one, right. lucky girl. So, Emma, where you be travelling from? Um, the Blue Mountains near Sydney. Right, okay. Beautiful. So not a Byron local, but um, you know, I suppose compared to what uh, Elvie and Mary are doing, a quick trip from the Blue Mountains to Byron Bay. Um, yeah. I don't know if you heard the getting of the tattoo before, but do you feel like the band has taken on now sort of a more tough rock and roll edge? 100%, 100%. I, was, I asked my partner, Jake, if I could get a tattoo at Byron Bay, he said no. That's oh. how inspired I was. Wait till well, you see mine, Em, yeah. and then you might just go, hey, give me exactly that, those wobbly <laughs> drumsticks. Yeah. Our Jack and I are available to do it on you. Anyway. <laughs> we'll bring the gear, Em. Let us know if you want one. Uh, Shannon on 131060. <laughs> Shannon, you're going to be attending one of the gigs. No, well, unfortunately, it's my daughter's um, formal that you're playing at with the broadcast. Oh. Fantastic. Oh, unfortunately that you can't go, oh, not, not unfortunately that we're playing. <laughs> no, well, unfortunately, all us parents are devo that we cannot see you and the Veronica's play. Mm-hmm. So, Shannon, unfortunately, all the kids get all this great stuff and they're so excited, but, yeah, don't you, devo. Don't you reckon, though, you could dress up and pass yourself off as a 15-year-old still these days, Shannon? Well, I think I could, actually. That's a good idea. So I might have to, to do that, actually. There's nothing <laughs> the year 10s idea. would want more than to look across the dance from their formal and see their mum pretending to be 15. <laughs> hey, Shannon, just quickly. Shannon, is it your daughter? What's her name? It's Bridget. Bridget, do you want us to keep an eye on her for you? Yeah, please, can you do? She's a tall one. No problem. Can do. Yeah, we can. We'll report back. Don't worry about that. (laughs) We can can run covert uh, parent-friendly ops. Lockie, is there one of the gigs that you're getting yourself to? Uh, We're heading up to Byron. Good on you, Lock. Lock. Uh, You bought tickets, I understand. Yep, we've we've purchased some tickets. Yep. Where where are you going from? Coming from? Uh, Melbourne. We're making a flight up. We've got a bit of a boys trip. Jeez, this is huge, Lockie. How old are you, Lock? Uh, I'm 23. Yep. You're a toolie. You, you are... do know what school <laughs> is. I'm officially a toolie. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I feel like we've accidentally started a, a small toolie stampede on Bar and Bay. Yeah, but However, you've got perfect excuse now, Lock. You're not no, there. No, I wasn't you... coming there for the school I'm yeah, a mu- 100%. exactly right. You're a music <laughs> fan. You're a, months ago. you're a Temper Trap fan. You're a Guy Sebastian fan. You're a rock and roll fan. And that is what you shall get, sir, at the Beach Hotel next Friday. Hey, we do go on tour on Monday, it's our halfway to the top to uh, ourselves, the band, front men joining us because we're cool boys in the front men. Shannon Noel, Guy Sebastian, the Wiggles, the Veronicas. Veronicas. Huge, mate. I mean, like, 
over two dozen arias yep. between all those bands, I'm going to say. Absolutely. Easily. Easily. Yeah, easily. And, uh, Haim, um, we should look back, though, at how we got ourselves here. The band was back with a bold idea. Maybe there is a tour. A tour. We're going to tour our one song. We've decided on some tour dates. It's always important to announce tour dates before <laughs> the venues. Before venues. 28th of November, 29th of November, 30th, 1st of December, 2nd of December. That's the rest of it. Yeah, but what if, what if we get a great offer for a gig? Mate, don't start chipping Or we'll just have a rest day on a different day. <laughs> You're in charge of setting up my drum kit and keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can hear, the insults were also back. You learnt trumpet at school, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, Jack, you learnt guitar at school, didn't you? I did. Yeah, cool. I just picked up electronic drums with my heart. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's good, because there's only hitting involved. There's only blowing involved with a trumpet. <laughs> blowing in fingers, how hard is that? You still needed classes, didn't you? <laughs> you dud. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> and now they were back, they needed a tour bus. Actor Shane Jacobson is giving us the bus. One Direction hired it off us when they were <laughs> It seems now like the music's the most irrelevant part. <laughs> if I may. <laughs> and boy, was that bus a beauty. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. Wow. This is like if Optimus Prime was built <laughs> by a bunch of kids on schoolies. <laughs> The attention turned briefly to song choice, and Holy Grail was floated. It's trumpet heavy, which will please someone in the band, Jack. <laughs> well, there's no trumpet for a while. Yeah, so but there's a big trumpet part of it. <laughs> well, I mean, the trumpet part features. <laughs> Just be honest, mate. It's probably on 101 great trumpet tracks. Is that what you Googled? <laughs> With that poo-pooed, Uptown Funk was chosen instead. You thought that sounded bad? Imagine it with Jack doing backup vocals. Dum. What? <laughs> dum, 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 dum. I you realise it's a lot lower than that. Yeah, but it's still in tune. <laughs> with what? <laughs> and when ACDC's Long Way to the Top was floated, the people had their say. That's so uh, Uptown Funk was disgraceful. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right. okay, do you want to single someone out then in the Uptown Funk? The trumpet wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> No, John, because what of you've the done, trumpet, no. we've had to change song. <laughs> and that, that is official, that straight is... from the voice of the people. <laughs> so while the song may have changed a few times, the infighting remained consistent. I just don't want to be like judged in the middle of notes if you're doing one of those faces that's like, where are we supposed to be here? Don't do that face of it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Most of the song I don't want to play with either. <laughs> hey. Join the club, mate, but we're in this and we've booked a tour. <laughs> so, what would fix all these song problems? Andy learning the bagpipes three weeks out from a tour. Yeah. Music sorted, now we needed some gigs. First stop, Wodonga Catholic College, Year 10 Formal. The kids will be absolutely wrapped. And we, we guarantee... The music lovers, are they? <laughs> <laughs> then, on to a pub reopening in rural New South Wales. Cool boys in the front man are coming to Rankin Springs. Oh, look out, we'll have to get on it. <laughs> <laughs> and the Nurses Ball in Newcastle. 300... Almost all women. I know exactly what Andy's done here, Tizana. So then thumbs up, me you mate. Know. <laughs> You're not going to a buffet. <laughs> Every cool boy needs their front man or front people, as is the case with the Veronicas. Cool boys! Yeah. Uh, yes, our first yeah. front ladies! We'll be there, babe. Shannon Knowles in for Rankin Springs. Ready to go, boys, ready to go. The Wiggles are almost ready to rock Newcastle. Look, he's just downloading ACDC, right? <laughs> he doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and an epic last front man for Byron Bay. Let's go, Guy Sebastian. Guy Sebastian, let's go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Giddy up. So, song, gigs, front people, all sorted. That's it, right? Of course not. And he needed his heavy vehicle licence. You'd be our bus driver. <laughs> Long socks, hat on. <laughs> and a silver moustache. How do you feel about it? <laughs> Gave each other outfits. Roller skates. Roller skates. <laughs> that seems dangerous. And they had a photo shoot. Don't trigger anything off with Andy at the front, because I'll burn your hard drive. 
Hain continued his tattoo sleeve. You to do one drumstick, and I know what you to do one drumstick, Jack. <laughs> and they gave themselves medals. I want a medal if everyone gets it. <laughs> <laughs> With so much happening, where did they find the time to rehearse? So Jack practiced this morning when I arrived. No, you were using it nonstop. It's, it's so clean. No prizes for practising, mate. Big deal. Anyone can practise hard and stand at the front of a crowd. The real test <laughs> is to be terrible and bring it on the night. <laughs> so let's hope the cool boys bring it as their epic tour across Australia starts Monday. We have got 20 hours in the tour bus together next week. <laughs> One thing that really strikes you is just how little we've run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can I just say, I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a huge bolt of reality. Yeah. I'm yeah. doing. I'm having that feeling, and I had this at high school, where it became so funny that I hadn't studied. <laughs> I forgot. It's only funny. I forgot that it was. I got lost in the joke. I guess yeah. if that uh, Haim hasn't studied for chemistry, yeah. that when I sat down to take the test, I forgot that I actually did want to do well. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having pangs of that feeling now. Oh, it's all of that. It's all of that. Anyway. But we're in the bus. The thing is, I've actually bought this little mat you can have on a bus so yep. you can play along on a little mat and stuff. And so I might... I'm not going to practice, but I'm just going <laughs> to... Sounds like you're a no, 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 big nerd. No, I'm not. I'm not. Guys, I'm not. I'm just going to roll through the sun a couple of times mentally. <laughs>